Hello. I am here. The song has been stuck in my head, so I thought I'd play it for the intro. But let us stop before Undertale destroys me online. But hi! It's me! My children are here, it's true. We got Reese and Kalu and maybe Fluffy? I don't know, my stream isn't updated. But we will see. <laughs> I own your ass, Reese. Me and B exclusively. <laughs> Alright, let's do the game. So yeah, so... We, we're almost done with this game. We're, we've made it a very long way. I'm very proud of us. Uh, also, uh, I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, I was. It took me forever to set up the stream today because uh, it was being real fussy. My my computer, that is, with uh, updating. It was really annoying. <gasps> Lori, we got more Lori art. He's adorable. Lori Myers grew out of a doodle and name. Adorable. This is how I grew. I was a doodle and a name, and then I became real. Oh, it's Bombshell. Pentagram Handshake is based on an actual thing Scott saw at a basement punk show in the late 90s. That's sick. Scum but cute me. Neck tattoo visible? Question mark? Man, neck tattoo? That must take some real strength. Long t-shirt with hoodie. Tattoo? Question mark? Cute. I love it. Bombshell so badass. Dancing. Oh my goodness. Sketches for the dance sequence with B. That's adorable. Look at them go. The butt bump. <laughs> twist. Windmill. Oh, I love the twist. That was the, my, like, my favorite one. Idol Bob. Shape legs. Oh my goodness. Dumb shape. They're dumb shape legs. Hi. Hello. Good to see you, Fluff. Fluff. Oh yeah. So proud to see all my children here. But yeah, we're looking at some concept art while people are getting to the stream real quick, and then we're gonna start playing. Cool, oh, we got the guys for the, the musicians from the Astral Alley and all the Astral events. First, it was undecided whether they should be skeletons or ghosts. You can never have too many skeletons or ghosts. Agreed. I like them. Good ideas. Few labor murals in this game, which are references to the amazing WPA murals from the 30s and 40s that you can still find all over the US. Cool, I didn't know that. I thought these were just like idealized, but that's actually pretty cool. I like that. We got Mallard's tomb still. Yeah, we've seen the rest of this a couple times. Sharkle! Sure, cool. I do like that he has a little skateboard. And they ended up keeping the hat on the right, which I always think is weird. I thought he had a top hat too, but he actually has a little backwards cap. Oh, we missed the Sharkle Dream, too, because we didn't do Greg's segment. Oh, my God. Next time. We are playing this game again someday in the future. And we're playing only Greg and then only B. We will do all their nights. It'll be great. But I like having this mixed run for now. But we missed so much cool shit on both sides, honestly. Click, click, diner line. Janitor's visiting. Love it. Sick. Okay. Awesome. I love the, the concept over this game. I want a thin line sharkle tattoo. Hell yeah, we will get sharkle tattoos. Greg, it's me. I am Gig. I'm Greg with no R. I'm just Gig. But yeah, let's continue the game. It's been great. I, I love this game so much, and I'm so glad this is the first game I decided to stream. Because it, it feels spe it's special to me, and now it's even more special because it's like something that I get to share. Even if I'm not sharing it with a ton of people, I'm sharing it with Reese. She's important to me, and I'm sharing it with some friends. It's just nice. It's good. Good to share. Sharkle. Way message. Come pick your fight. Give arrows flight. You mess with me, you mess with all of us. Going to see the blank tones next week. Cool, is that a reference to the, uh, the deaf tones? Or wait, is that what it's called? Man, I can't think of things. Also, I drank all my boba while waiting for my computer to restart. I'm really sad. So I'm drinking soda tonight instead of boba. Just to keep myself awake. But I like I like you mess with me, you mess with all of us. That's a very uh, direct action cry from Angus. Which I don't think you get to see in the original version of the game. Hey, kid. 
Snack falconing. Work, work, work. Till I die, die, die. <laughs> Me too. Hello, May. Pickaxe. Add it. Me. You know the drill. <laughs> you know the drill at this point. Timblo Bimbo. Hi, Timber. It's nice to see you. Glad people are showing up. Uh, th I've decided I need to start doing more late streams because it, I seem to get the best viewership when I do late streams. I get between like 9 and 10 people instead of having, you know, between like 1 to 5. It's pretty good. I like doing late streams. Science Beat. New research indicates that things don't necessarily have to be as bad as they are. What? Crazy. Are you serious? Maybe if capitalism wasn't a thing, things wouldn't be as bad. Crazy. Crazy that science came up with that thought. <laughs> Shocking. Always watch them before I sleep. I'm so glad. Uh, late streams are good for that. To like relax you. Because I'm very chill, I think. I hope. Jeez. Feels like it's been a year since I got back. And saw this again. Aw. The granddad clock. Hey bird, things are like really intense right now. Pray to your bird gods for my soul, bird. Can't do any more research. I feel the perpetual need to go in this room. Also, I had something spoiled for me by Tumblr. I'm really sad. But I'm not going to talk about it because I, it will happen, I think, in our playthrough. So. But it was like a light spoiler, but it was also like really heavy for me because it looks really good. Uh, I'm excited to get to that. But I hadn't seen that. It wasn't in the original version of the game. I think it's exclusive to Weird Autumn, so I'm excited. Good morning. There's my little sunshine daisy. Oh my god, me at Reese. Are you feeling any better from the other day? Sleeping a lot, but feeling worse? Okay, well, I'm going to make you an appointment with Dr. Hank. Oh jeez, Mom, it's fine. It's very much not fine, hun. I'm an adult, I can make that decision. When you're here, you're still my baby. And I'm making you an appointment. Nay, hey, hun, I'm worried about you. I'm okay, mom. Listen, I keep thinking about the money problems in the house, and I'm just so sorry. You, we, wouldn't be in this situation if I wasn't such a massive screw up. I just want to fall into a pit and die right now. Hey, it's okay, really. We'll figure something out. This isn't on you to fix. I'm sorry if I made it seem that way. What's done is done, and we're a family together regardless. Please stop worrying about it. Whatever happens, I love you. I need you to know that. You too. Sniff. Okay, I'm gonna go. You sure you don't want to stay home and rest? Nah, I got stuff to do. What is it you have to do? I don't even know, honestly. Oh, hon. Please take it easy. I will. Love you. Love you, too. That feels new. I feel like there wasn't as good of a resolution. Keep the really good prescription headache meds on my nightstand. I'll give you, like, half of one. Only half? Honey, you're... You know. Short. Half would be fine. <laughs> it's fine, Mom. Okay, let me know if I can be of any help. Thanks, Mom. Sweet. Yeah, I feel like that's new though. I don't remember there being such a nice resolution to May being sad, angry at mom. I thought that was kind of like hovering over the rest of the game. That's really kind. I like that mom kind of chills the fuck down. Maybe I just thought that it was uh, never resolved because my own parents Garbo, <laughs> which I don't want to project onto the onto May too much. But like, she's kind of made for that. She's very relatable as a character. She has her own, like, very distinct personality, but it somehow feels like she's just, like, the coolest person any of us know. Like, she's kind of like Wendy from Gravity Falls in that way, where she's just kind of, like, the cool person that everybody has, like, who knows in some way. We can all kind of relate to her journey, and I like that. I would say Greg is less relatable, but more personally relatable, because I relate to Greg's journey a lot more than May is, but May is just universally relatable. In that kind of cool way. Also, I just noticed this, but her hair always faces right no matter which way she's facing. I never actually noticed that until just this moment. That is insane. That's super cool. I love that. But why? I wonder. Because, like, you'd think that it would 
flow backwards when she's running that way. It does the same thing on this way, but I guess not. Just looks cool though. I like it. Cool hair effect. Hello, mother. <laughs> yes, it is me. I am the yellow mom. <laughs> we are co moms. I think co moms is just another word for lesbians. But I'm going with it anyways. No dialogue up here today. Anyone up in the front yard? No. Uh oh. Oh god. What do you want? Hello to you too, May. Well, I wanted to let you know. I ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. Oh, really? Yeah, I thought you'd be interested, it's all. Definitely. Arm belonged to a middle-aged man. Medium build. He was dead when it was removed. Whoa. That means... Doesn't mean anything yet. Just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detective stories when you were a kid. Okay, yeah, thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? Wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, I know, but he believes me. I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, May. Molly still gives me bad vibes. I'm jumping on the mailbox. She can't stop me. Unstoppable May. The inevitable Greg. Hey, Selmers. She's May, are you sick? Nah, just tired. Got a headache. Why are you out running around? I'll get over it. Yeesh. Take it easy, neighbor. Can do. Want to hear a new poem? Always. Stars the stars, like lights on cars. Drive across the dark and never park. It's true. They are like that. Got one ready for longest night. Oh? Longest night? Longest night. Night so dark, but stars so bright. Nice. Thanks, I'm feeling festive. Cute. You noticed anything like weird around here lately? Weird as in... Missing kids? I don't think so. Not recently, at least. That Casey kid last spring. But he weren't a kid no more. Maybe someone else from another town? I'm sure I'll remember. You know I asked that, but I didn't expect you to know. I read the paper. Forecast is thinking snow soon. When? Soon. Gonna get cold soon. Heck yeah, I can't wait to listen to Snow. One of the best songs on the track, honestly. Getting cold early this year. Don't bode well. <laughs> he didn't even tell me to get off his porch this time. This is character development. This is real life character growth. He didn't tell me to get off his porch, even though I was on his porch. He just warned me about the weather. That's called character growth. We love to see it. We love that for him. Oh, the pumpkin is off the roof. What is this? Oh, it's just a big pile of leaves. It looked like an egg corn sitting on top of that. But it was just a leaf. Re 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 what oh it's screeching oh my goodness there's a lot of yelling. Uri oh, Galar is gonna be confused when they look at chat again. Yeah I am. Uri Dio in the chat. Just reing. Still nothing new. We'll find you someday, Casey. I believe at you. Seen at dusk? Yeah, I think we already read that way earlier in the stream. Like, way down in the first episode. Let's go up at the church. I think Bruce is gone, right? I gotta talk to Pastor K today. And let her know. Yesterday he was talking about heading on out. And I think she'll be sad to hear that. We talked about on stream, like, oh, we don't think Bruce had a very good ending. And I, I'm sad to think that's true. If you weren't here for that, they implied that Bruce's sister, or like, Bruce's kid died. 
while back, and uh, he said he wants to go be with her again, which is not super hopeful for him. Wonder where Bruce has got to. Actually, I know. Really? Yeah, he told me not to tell you yesterday. Tell me what, May? Bruce is going home. He... What? Yeah, he's going home to his kids. I guess they're all waiting for him. Oh. You seem pretty happy about it. Okay. Thanks, May. Are you not happy about this? Thanks for letting me know. Pastor K crying. Yeah. She knows what's up, too. I think May's just in denial. Wonder if he jumped from here. He said he was going home, but I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I feel bad. Bad vibes from Bruce's ending. Didn't get a chance to stay in the church, and he took off. Poor guy. I love Bruce. He's such a good character, but it's just so sad. Really gotta keep doing Streets of Paradise <laughs> here in Sarasota. We're not very good to our homeless population. Oh my goodness, there's so much screeching. And also, oh no, Bruce. No, Bruce. Oh, did he... Did he commit the S word? Yeah, it's kind of implied that. Because Bruce is like saying, oh, I want to go home. And then, uh, and, and see my kids. And then, past, but like previously, Pastor K had like brought up that his his daughter was like gone. Or no, I think he brought it up himself. Like, like oh, you have kids? And he said, oh, yeah, I had a daughter, like two daughters. And then they're like, oh, why aren't they with you? And he just didn't answer. And I was like, uh-oh, there's a problem. There's something going on here. And now he's like, I want to go back to my kids. And it's like, yeah, okay, man. He didn't get the chance to stay in the, the library here at the church, so... He must just be gone. And it's really sad. Send Bruce all my love. Same. He's a good character, but man, he's, he's a tragic figure. Love him. He can't resist coming here. That's God calling you. Oh, jeez, I'm betting not. God's patient, hun. Like nature. That's such a creepy statement. I find it comforting. Got this creeping dread thing going on. So just ignore me. Okay, hun, can I do anything? Not really. Love you. What is it? I don't know. Purposely committing this scene to memory. Taking a brain photo. <laughs> yeah, like when I was a kid. Dad was great with the games to keep you quiet in the car. He sure was. I still do it now. Snap. Got your picture. Snap, snap. Got yours too. Love you, sweetie. You too, Mom. I'm so worn out. Why don't you go take a nap back in the library room? Oh, wow. I haven't been in the library room in years. Oh, I finally get to go in. Doesn't get a lot of use these days, but it's nice and quiet and peaceful. Okay, I might do that. Door's back there unlocked now, so have at it. I'll be out here. Thanks, Mom. No problem, sweetie. Oh, uh, I think, uh... I think this is the thing I got spoiled for me. But we're gonna get to see something nice. Yep. No, I was right. Okay. We're gonna lay still, I think. Give it a sec. Give it a hot sec. Here we go. Sleepy. Yeah, this is the thing. Aww. Here he is. It's Grandad. Spirit of Grandad. Just vibing. I'm gonna cry. He's there for his granddaughter even now. First bot? No. We've had bots before. Hold on. Delete message. Gone. And ban user. It's okay. Bot ruined the moment. Yeah. But it's still precious. I love uh, that he's just still here for her, you know? In like a special way. 
It's really sweet. Even if he can't be there. Still here. Even a little way. Aww. I'm gonna go check inside the church halls just in case anyways. That was really special. I like that a lot. May takes a nap. Granddad stays for her. Well, the bot was just advertising some shit. Probably like a scam. If you clicked on the link, it'd probably send you to some like porn website. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Bots are kind of just for that. Oh yeah, followers, something like that. Want to gain more follower instant? Come follow me at bit.ily. Come find new thing today. It's like cool. Thanks, man. Yeah. Wonder if we'll get to nap in that room again and maybe see Bruce. Be nice to see him again. Oh, we should go see if Miss Rose is here. See if she can tell me more about Granddad. And him fucking her, apparently. <laughs> oh, Tunnelfish Man. Will Tunnelfish be always there? Will Tunnel Drain Canal be bare? I would miss the Tunnelfish. To have them back would be my wish. Are they gonna drain the tunnel or something? No, it's poetry, okay? I'm just making stuff up. Please don't listen. <laughs> he's always like, please don't listen, but I have to listen. He is so le he's a legendary poet. I love he. Very talented man. Tunnelfish boy. Just wanted to see if the boat guy was down here. Miss Rose is not here. Boat guy is not here. Teens aren't here, and Pumpkinhead guy is not here. Man. Man. <laughs> I made myself laugh because that's a meme I've been thinking about a lot. Where it's just like an image of someone at the beach and it just says like man as they look out onto the coast. That shit still kills me for some reason. It's so funny to me. I saw one recently where it was like the Delfino beach from Mario Sunshine and one of the little like quackers was outstanding in on the beach and the text from like the Mario Sunshine text just said man and it was like oh my god that's so great oh yo the busker guy is not here maybe he's actually playing with uh the lady today that'd be so badass I sure hope so oh yo hey Lori you okay yeah I'm like only half here right now I'm just tired are you sick or something I don't even know anymore. You should get some cold medicine. And some crackers and ginger ale. And lay in bed and watch bad movies. Thanks for the advice, Doc. Don't mention it. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. May, you okay? Hmm, hmm, hmm. May! Ugh, sorry, I spaced out there for a sec. You should, like, see a doctor. I'll get around to it. Thanks. Uh, no problem? Alright, well, I'll probably see you later. Probably. Nothing certain, I guess. Okay. See ya. May is really struggling today. Apparently everyone else can see it in her face, but, like, I can't, obviously, because she's just a regular model. I don't know. She definitely feels off in her conversations and stuff crazy. Boink, 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 boink. Pigeons flying backwards again. I saw it this time. It was real. The real pigeon flying backwards hours. We still got, uh, we still got some stuff to do. We got to talk to Greg. Oh, oh yeah, we gotta vote on Angus at Possum Jump or Greg at the Historical Society. That's coming up. But I'm gonna talk to B first because I don't think we can do anything else with her for a while. Whoa, whoa, dude, are you okay? Yeah, I guess. Sure. Tired. Had a headache for days. Should like go home and rest. I feel like you'd be able to veg out pretty well. Nah, I'm fine. Doing stuff helps. How are you feeling about the whole ghost thing? bad. And since it happened, I don't feel rested in the morning. I feel like someone else is in my head. My skull is going to explode. So yeah, not good then, huh? Nope. Hmm. Hmm. 
I guess that's all she's got to say today. So yeah, opinions. We got six viewers, so we can make another even vote. Followers. Oh yeah. Oh, is that a little dead mouse face from Kalu? That's great. Gweg, Greg, Angus if B isn't an option yet. B is not here today. May losing it a bit. Yeah, Angus and Angus, and then Greg and Greg. We've got two Anguses, two Gregs. We got two more people watching. You can vote today. Angus or Greg, your vote could turn the tide. Out of our six viewers, possibly even more, if my stream isn't updating, because my stream chat does not always update. Gweg, did you edit yours to say Gweg and not Greg? Let's talk to Angus real quick. Because I love both of their little missions, they're really fun. So I said I could, like, take up the park. He did indeed. I'm so tired. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. You up for this park trip? No, not right now. We're gonna decide first. We gotta, we gotta see. We got two Angus and two Gregs. Still, that's the only stuff we got. Everybody, join in. Give me your energy. We need to know. Oh, also, hold on. I gotta check on the buskers before we talk to Greg. Oh, and that's... Wait, Timber, you can't vote twice. You stinky. You almost got me there. I thought I saw a third Greg, but you're just doing Gweg again. Are we friends, Gwegoe? Oh, wait. This is worth it first. What's in the news? Birds flying south early this year. What does that mean? They know something we don't. Damn. Something bad's happening, I guess. Oh, let's talk to the smelters, guys. Now oh, that's it. Shipping out tomorrow. Can't believe you actually landed the new job. Yep, moving on to better things. Kids excited? Oh yeah, they'll love it. Might take a while. Heh. <laughs> well. Yep. Yep. Maybe just one more, huh? Yeah, one more. Go smelters! Yep. They're great. I ship them. They're star-crossed lovers. They're so far apart, but yet so in love. Precious. I ship them too, yeah. <laughs> They're great. Angus! No! You can't say that. Also, you already voted, Kalu. You can't... You know, <laughs> Kalu, you voted twice. You can't do that. You can't trick me with that. I know. I can see who's messaged before. You can't change your name. You have to make an alt account just to fuck with me. To get your double vote. Oh, Fluffy! Fluffy with the determining vote! No, wait. No! Oh, you already voted too! What the- ah! You're all hoes. Everyone's a hoe. I'm a sham. You're a sham. Gag and anus. <laughs> no! Stop! I hate you all. You're all terrifying. I love it. Unlimited power in the chat. Hey. Hey. Hello. You guys gonna play together? Yeah, haha. <laughs> Thanks for making this happen, kid. Haha, <laughs> wow. Huh. What? I just realized that, like, I did something helpful. Like I came up with a plan and did something good. Is that strange? I feel like I just stumble into things all the time. Introducing you two is like, I meant to help out two strangers, and I did. Now you're gonna play together. And fall in love. What? No. I'm in a long-term monogamous relationship. I'm not in the market. My son takes up most of my attention. Oh. Did I make it weird? You made it weird. Very weird. Damn it. <laughs> but they're still friends. I like it. Hell yeah. Music. Sadie and I can't remember the guy's name ever. Bombshell, Mayday, and BB. Stuck together, don't suck together. Oh, we got the second one. Right from the handshake, we talked about that. In the concept art section today. I'm very proud of them. They make good music together. <laughs> you Wait, what? Timber, did you change your vote? No, you already voted. God, you're all terrible. Bro, I'm so sorry for my lot. Oh my god, that's so sick, I can't wait. Uh, you got the sticker. I hope that you love it and that it is high quality and lovable. 
What the hell's a malt? Okay. And then Greg will probably talk to me about the historical society. Gee, which one did you get? Yeah, what sticker did you get, actually? Interested. Intrigued. Hey, man. Hey. How you holding up? Had a splitting headache. I feel like I barely slept, even though I slept a lot. Jeez, you okay? I don't know. Can I do anything? Kill me? <laughs> Bang. I shot you. Thanks. So what are you up to today? I'm just saying hey. Hey. <laughs> me too. The, listen, we have six viewers and we've only had four votes. I'm I'm gonna check to see if we don't just have four viewers and this is a stalemate forever. No, we have six even in the fucking real chat. I guess we just have two people who either can't or won't talk or maybe are just sleeping. Because I have a very relaxing voice, which is fine. But we need to know. Gregory Angus... The fight is so on. Why are you guys insane? You can't vote multiple times. That's not how it works. It's one vote per customer. Your vote doesn't matter more if you say it in all caps. <laughs> it should matter more if you say it in all caps. That's not how democracy works. <laughs> hey, Germ. Hey, May. Totally, what's up? Other than the obvious. You seem something, too. Do I look any different? Than me, you do. Thanks for your attention. You wanna come? Mm, got a trampoline. <gasps> Yo! What? Wait. Is this the fucking cut content from the original version? Holy fuck, let's do it. Sure. Alright, let's go. What the fuck? <laughs> the fight is still ongoing. But holy shit, this is the fucking... This is the cut content from the original game. I'm so psyched that this is in. This is the trampoline scene. I have talked about this in a, like two streams ago. This is really weird. Why? I like never pictured you coming up from somewhere. Coming from somewhere. I thought you just like appeared one day in a parking lot. Oh. Sorry, that was weird. It's cool. A lot of folks from town never come back up here. Got a lot of cars. My uncles are here a lot. They fix cars with my dad. Do you drive? I bike. Better for the environment. I just keep finding things about out about you. What? We're all gonna die from temperatures and water. This is, uh, your tire? Nah, it's for my sisters and my cousins. You have sisters? Yeah, they're out at church and stuff right now. That's why I invited you over. It's like adults night here. Adults night? One night a week, no kids. Huh, I wasn't allowed to move until he, like, left a ways. Oh, hello. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay? Okay, you should meet my mom. Should I? It's polite since you're eating dinner here. I was kidding. I couldn't tell. You okay? I'm nervous. Why? Come on. <laughs> I love Germ. He's very sweet. He's a dork, but he's... Uh, the fact that Lara's slowly making Germ more nasally. Oh no! Am I? I'm trying to keep it consistent, but I thought that I. I guess I'm just making him more and more nasal. <laughs> I just think he would have like a squeaky voice, you know? Like he's just talking and like really fast and thinking really quickly. Yeah, I don't know. He's the, that's my kind of voice for him in my head. And Greg is like my voice, but like higher up a little bit. Like hey hey hey, yo yo yo. And then like May is like mellow, and B is like down. And Angus is like kind of more deep and husky. I like it. Lars Great is exactly how I think he would sound. Aww. Aww. Kalu wants to go bed. Gotta go. Alright, we'll do Greg. It's fine. We, we have to do all three of them eventually. And I do love Angus' story, so it's fine. Hey, Mom. This is May. She's eating dinner with us. Uh, hi. Hello, May. Hope you like Sloppy Joes. Who doesn't? Nobody in this house. Thought you two should meet before dinner. That's very thoughtful, Jeremy. I'm gonna introduce May to my grandma. Oh, is that what this is about? What? Can I? You don't need my permission. 
Whatever happens is on you. <laughs> what? Come on. Nice meeting you. You too, man. This house is so much more fleshed out, too, because in the demo, that was, like, not real. Like, the, the bodies weren't there yet, or they, like, weren't finished yet. And, like, the TV wasn't here. Like, there was a lot of missing stuff, you know? But it, it's nice to see this house, like, totally fleshed out with characters with, like, full bodies and stuff. It's really exciting, because when I saw this, like, cut content online, it was all just, like, floating heads and, like, no bodies and nothing programmable. Yes, crimes, knights, crimes, knights, Greggy boy shenanigans, Grego wins. Heck yeah, it's gonna be crime night, I'm excited. Crimes? Chat, you gotta say crimes back. <laughs> Snazzy crimes, hell yeah, let's do it. Oh, here she is. Sturdy girl. That's what grandpa used to say. My granddad said that. Did you? This is grandma. Hello. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, see ya. Wait, what? <laughs> You're looking at me. Sturdy's a good word for you. Big bones, stout. Yep. So, is that it? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I upset you? No? Too bad. You need to be upset. What's coming to you, little girl? It's three times the trouble you deserve. You're going to go down hard, not far from here. You will go down in these woods. You like telling my fortune? Little girl, I don't know what you did. You got a dark spot in you. That one day is going to take a life. Might be someone else's or it might be yours. Mark my words, you're doomed. Okay, I'll uh, try to remember that. Actually, no, this is stupid. You don't know me. Whatever it is that's wrong with me. Yeah, I'm not just an effing shell. For my problems to walk around in. Uh, uh, you got a dark spot on you. The actual hell do you know about me anyways? I can't stop what's coming. But I, I can't, but ask you a question you can't answer. Can you unhaunt a haunted house? I... I uh, what? <laughs> How'd you go in there for a second? What? I'm just joshing you. I have my fun. What is wrong with you? That was seriously messed up. <laughs> You're a good sport. You go on outside now, dear. Let Grandma watch her judge Janice. <laughs> oh my god, that explain. Oh, that's so cute. That explains why there is a Fonx on the TV, because this is a little known fact of this game. But Greg was actually inspired by a character in a Judge Judy court case. Where he was like a blonde punk with like a, a leather jacket. And he was like being all like punky at Judge Judy or whatever. And because of that episode, it inspired Greg. And I think that's great. They're like directly referencing that now. Judge Janice. Greg inspired by... Yeah, Grandma is spooky. Crimes of the Dead. Ooh. Spooky crimes, crimes, crammies. But yeah, no, but that's so cool that they referenced Judge Judy because that's actually Greg's inspiration. See you around. Not likely. Little girl. Sipping. Don't tell me what Grandma said. Why? When Grandma tells you something for you, it's yours. And if you give it away, it's gone. What does that mean? Watch this. Spring. Oh, sick. The trampoline exists now. I thought it would have more dimension, but honestly, it's better than nothing. Which, literally, in the, the cut content, it didn't exist. It was nothing. Holy crap. Come on. Hell yeah. Trampoline. Hell yeah. Boing. Boing. Oh, if you press the button right as you land, you get a big jump. Boing. Boing. Hey, there's a familiar face. What? Been seeing you a whole bunch. I don't... I'm invisible. Don't let him spook ya. He's been working on your street. Department of Transportation. You don't see us, but we see you. Oh yeah, hi. Thanks for uh, fixing our street. 
Yep, yep. Twarn't nothing. He's been doing the easy work. My crew's been out climbing all over those bridges all in town. Oh, they open yet? Hell no. That'll be the day. You, you're Stan Borowski's kid, right? Yeah? We stand Stan Borowski. Used to see him down at Miller's a bunch. Probably good we see him less now. Yeah. Didn't mean nothing by it. It's cool. I want to move around. Look at how the text moves. That's so sick. Back when your dad was something else. He's up at Ham Panther now, right? Yeah. They're pretty anti-union, huh? Yeah, he's mentioned that. Huh. Yep, yep. Your dad's alright, kid. Okay. Yeah, he's good. How do you know my dad? I don't. I just felt left out of the conversation. You tell him Ham Panther management can go straight to hell. Okay, that's, uh, weird. Nah, I agree. Ain't nothing weird about it. Jeremy, we got... We going out to Hunwick this weekend? Yeah! What's in Hunwick? Old computer show! They do love their computers. Gonna look for an old Compidon 80. Gonna pl play some Wanderers of Clorgan. Bunch of dweebs over here. <laughs> for real. Yep, yep. Okay, well if I'm gonna bounce anymore, I'm gonna puke. I need to keep bouncing. I'm not gonna be lonely. Alright. Oh wait, I should probably go up, huh? Yeah. Sick. I was wondering if I can go back here. Nah. Shame. You gotta catch it. So like, why? Dinner! Hold that thought. I wanted to ask why. <laughs> That was really good. I love this music, by the way. Glad you like Softy Joes. Who doesn't? Are you gonna say before dinner? Oh yeah. Weird to ask, but why did you invite me up here? I don't think we have even Greg's been up here. Nah. Greg's cool, but like, Greg's got things pretty much figured out. Yeah, Greg's the best. Like, it seems you've been having a hard time lately. And I thought you'd just like to chill out for a bit. Everybody else is like going somewhere. I wishes they were. But you're just like not. I don't know. Yeah. Thanks for dinner. Thank my mom. No, just thanks. I had a really long fall. I know. Glad you like sloppy joes. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? <laughs> That's cute. Everybody likes Sloppy Joes. Gotta go now. Bye. That was really sweet. Germ Spooky Grandma. Oh my god, we just talked about that. Grandma is spooky. Germ Spooky Grandma. Germ's got a whole family. Delicious. Germ. A good guy. I agree. He's been weird this whole time, but we got a really like genuine moment with him. and I, I love that. I always wished that was in the base game, and now it is. It's real. It exists. I'm very proud. The developers clearly put a lot of care into this edition of the game, and I just, I love every second of it, honestly. It's so good. Oh man, this is actually giving me different flashbacks. I need to post the image, actually. I, I don't know if it's in my old files. Maybe when I do a BRB, I'll go and look for it. But I drew a picture that takes place in front of this old uh, food donkey. This I think it does. Because I just realized the ground is black there. Yeah, I think that's right. Or it might be in front of the click clack. No, I think it was the food donkey. But I just really like uh, that location because of, like I like this black road and then like the sidewalk. The way it's laid out is really satisfying. Am I missing anything else to do today? I talked to everybody. And I went and saw Sadie and Jensen. 
I don't know if that's his name, but I'm calling him that. They were playing their music together. Mr. Chazikov wasn't out today. We did Germ's little thing. Miss Rosa wasn't here. Yeah, I think it's time to talk to Greg. Let's do it. Crimes night. Crimes night. Crimes night. I'm so psyched. Finally, good Greg stuff. Try to draw today. My hand said no. Only gonna be bad. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. You don't have to draw every day. Just draw when you feel like it. Oh, and Reese knows what I'm talking about too. Apparently, about my drawing. Yeah, it's a classic image in the lar repertoire. So what are you up to today? You want to check out the historical society? You sure? You seem like really tired. Yeah, let's do this. The Historical Society. Hell yeah. This is probably one of the best ones. I really like Angus is the best, but this is the second best. And then I think actually, even though I love B and I love her quest lines, especially with uh, the run we've been doing, uh, her little ghost story is the weakest one by far. This one is like the second best. It has the most engaging play as, as far as I remember. And then... uh. Angus has probably one of the lesser engaging ones, but just so memorable. It stands out to me always. It's great. Sorry we crashed. It's okay. I'm getting used to it. Is your bike okay? Yeah, I can fix it. I'm handy. It's too bad you didn't get run over. It's too bad you didn't crash into a train. It's too bad your corpse didn't get eaten by scavengers. It's too bad he didn't get eaten by scavengers while alive. <laughs> so that's it, huh? Yep. Never been out here before. Me either. Aw, oh, I thought you had a plan. Who needs a plan? Or just breaking into an old house. Crimes. Yep. Looks kinda... Uh, exactly like a haunted house. Yeah. The one in that old movie cover of the book or movie I'm gonna say book haunting of Arbor Street we have an Arbor Street yeah looks spooked me pretty good as a kid big evil house this place looks exactly like it uh, you're looking for a ghost right I think it might be looking for me actually oh uh, yeah the other night yeah uh, whoever this is maybe we'll get some info here it's not like a person dude it's a ghost uh, right, well, let's go find us a ghost. Greg's so supportive, I love him. Oh, shit, what is this? Greg? Hey, where are you? Over here. Goodness, this is very dreamlike. I don't remember this part. Is this part of the base game? I know that you have to just creep around the back of the building. Okay, yeah, this is fine. This is regular. Aw, uh, yeah. Found the basement doors. <laughs> what? Stop yelling! Why are you talking like that? Yes, instead of S, it's harder. For someone, ex for example, a ghost, to hear that you're speaking. I have no idea what you're saying here. <laughs> okay, we're trying to be stealthy, white. Right? Okay, okay, I get what you're saying. Thank you. Not gonna do that. Okay. We're fine, nobody's here. No lights on, doors are locked. So how are we doing this? You're gonna hold the flashlight. Well, I picked this lock. You can pick locks? I totally forgot. Yeah, dude. This is kind of awesome. Sure is. Crimes, dude. Crimes, dude. Oh, shit, this is new. Hey, you wanna shine that light down here? Cool, thanks. Oh. Oh, gee, what was that? Nothing. Hold on, I'm turning that up a little bit. This is definitely new. Uh, uh. Hey, more light, please. Sorry, Greg. Uh-oh. Thought I heard something. Oh my god, this is so spooky. What the fuck? Okay, there's something up there. 
Well, I'm turning it up a little bit. I'm spooked the shit out. This is actually really freaky. I don't remember this. Told you. Alright, let's finish this. Also, watch my back. Basically, do both. I'm spooked as hell. I'm a freak. Oh shit, I heard a rustling. There's definitely something rustling up there. Hey, you up there! Oh shit! Oh fuck, an owl! Friggin' owl! You okay? I think so. That was dangerous. I didn't know owls attacked like that. What was this effing deal? I wonder if I could have prevented that. If I hadn't shined as much or shined less, I don't know. So we're in the basement. What are we actually looking for, by the way? I think I read said that someone, sometimes when someone stays late, they hear weird things. Something called the map room. Some off-limits area? Technically, all of this is an off-limits area right now. True, dude. True. Hell yeah. <laughs> he runs like a dork. Not to say I don't, but it's cute. Dude, is that like two elevators? And not like old ones. Lock two. Jeez, maybe this place is all elevators. Weird, why would you have two? One for the ghosts, one for the normies. Private rooftop ghost party. For the ghost pool. Hope you get squished by the elevator. Hope your head gets stuck in the door. And gets chopped off. Hope you fall down an elevator shaft. Hope you get trapped in a dark elevator. Filled with water. And an angry shark. Holy crap, dude, that's... Ugh. <laughs> Greg doesn't like sharks and dark water. I know someone like that. Oh, I've done this one before. It's spooky but interesting. Yes, it's great. I feel uncomfy. Yeah. No, it's that's the, it, this is a genuinely like spooky part. I love it. It's great. I'm sorry to spook all y'all, but this is this is kind of fun. It's very suspenseful. Okay. Here we go. Oh boy, looks pretty empty. I don't like the red lights. That one always sets me off. And dark. Hey, where's the flashlight? Crap. I left it outside. Dude, you're being attacked by an owl. Alright, well, I can't see, okay? Me too. Let's look around. Oh, spooky music. Turn it up a little bit more again. I like it. Oh. Closed for insurance purposes. Caution. Stairs not for climbing. These stairs are original to the house and are not functional at this time. The hell are non functioning stairs? <laughs> so, are we just supposed to, like, levitate? Huh. Oh, check it out. Elevator number three. Looks like it's not locked either. Elevators for miles, dude. Yeah, this is weird. Rooftop ghost party. Here we come. Uh-oh, we're not moving. Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go? Why do I have to go first? It's your ghost. Okay, fine. It's not even real. What? Dude, what? Clunk. That was a clunk. What the hell was that? I don't know. Is someone here? No, lights off. Doors locked. No cars outside. Okay, so do you want to go back? Do you have your knife? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wait, is the assumption that I'm going to stab someone? Is that the plan now? <laughs> I don't know if I'm okay with this. No, I mean, like, just in case. I mean, the basement door locked behind us. Oh, right, crap. Gotta find another way out, too. Hold on, let me add that to the list. Map room, forbidden zone, find a way out. This is complicated. Crimes. Crimes. Oh, boy. There's a door here. We should check it out. Crimes. This is crimes night. Night night, oh you're leaving, Fluffy, or 
Stab time. Oh, wait. Oh, Timber gotta go. Sorry, Timber. We'll see you around. Love you. This room is significantly less creepy. Getting less spooked. Oh, hey. Possum Massacre. Oh, nice. You remember this, right? Sorta. Really cool, though. Just like the whole strike thing. How other people joined them. And even when the bosses sent in soldiers, they were like all united. Could not, like, could not give one shit. Yeah, it's the best history, dude. Still makes me, like, proud and angry. Bosses are bad, dude. Bosses are bad. You know, like, we're all supposed to look up to, like, bosses. Just in general. Like, even bad ones. Yeah, I refuse. Extremely ditto. <laughs> Greg is me. The lines are blurring even further. <laughs> bosses are bad. Extremely ditto. I love how his little eyes go up to look at the map. Or the little, like, microfiche thing. Cool ass union history. Okay, well, nothing weird here. Educational, even. I feel like we're getting smarter. My brain is too huge as it is, dude. It's gonna pop. <laughs> if that happens, I'm leaving your headless corpse here. Haha, <laughs> they'll be so freaked out in the morning. Nice. Oh, Ronald, I'm going to open this room for the day. Ah! I say this chap's brain appears to have burst. Bring the mop, won't you, Ronald? <laughs> I'm my own boss. You still suck. Just kidding, you don't. You're the best. Super glad you're your own boss. I look up to you, but not as a boss. As an awesome person. Is this elevator number four? How? Why? <laughs> Granddad would be complaining about local tax dollars right now. Fuck. Oh my god. Clunking. Ah, uh, that is not cool. Maybe it's like someone left a phone here, and that's uh probably that, probably, probably. Crimes, crimes. Going down. What would going down even mean? Oh shit! Sick. Oh my god, this is like Metroid music now. What the fuck? This feels like, like, Metroid-ass music. This is crazy. Still call my mom Mama? Cute. Parents are my boss. Oh, I'm sorry. Parents suck. Well, not always, but sometimes. Like, sometimes. <laughs> I'm not gonna name names. It's an office. This is boring. Anything interesting here? Office supplies. There's a candle calendar. It's like covered bridges. One's over there got famous disasters. That's the cool person's desk. The other person is boring. Wonder if they're friends. You can work with someone and not be friends. Oh uh, yeah. This room isn't so boring after all. No, it definitely is. Might need office supplies later. And I think I know why. No, I, I actually explicitly know why I always do this mission with Greg. But uh it is still extremely cool. Oh wait, we still need to go up. Going up. So many elevators. Elevators as far as the eye can see, dude. You're kidding me. Elevator number five. Hmm. Locked. I think this is as high as we're going without picking some locks, so... Aw, oh, crap. You're kidding me. Drop the lockpick stuff out back. You're kidding me. I was being attacked by an owl. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Can you, like, improvise? You need some pliers. And you got a paperclip? No, he's walking around on Earth today carrying a paperclip. Nobody. Let's get this straight now. Shoot. Map room, forbidden zone, find a way out, find pliers, find paperclip. I think that's it. This is so stupid. This is all, like, work. This is all work. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah, didn't sound like a person. I don't know what that was. Okay, well, let's hurry. Let's go grab that paper clip. No, that that was like a, if you couldn't hear it very well, it was a ghostly, like, howl. Like an, ooh. 
Now something clunked behind me and I got spooked in real life. People go on weird ghost hunting adventures. They're looking for like cool shit. Like I guess I found an ancient skeleton body last night. Yeah, dude. At least we haven't met anyone dead yet. Okay, well. Yeah, let's find a paperclip. Hey, that wasn't last night. That was... Oh, whatever. One of those little hula girls. Picture of dang hound dog. Donut will proceed. Ride that chariot, Nancy. Ha <laughs> ha! Big ass stapler. Picture of some dang kids. Found one. Well, that's the easy part, I guess. Players are going to be a bit more tricky to find. Let's head back up. Yeah. No more stuff, I guess. I remembered it was on the boring guy's desk, but I couldn't remember. Where? But we're finding. We're searching. We're search finding. Oh, right. I need to go on more up again. I keep forgetting. Going up? Elevators for days. Still don't like the ghost sounds. Ba -da I think this is the map room. Oh hey, it's my neighborhood. On the highway. No ham panther though. Must be old. Oh wait. We're in the map room. Well, let's be extra careful. Okay. Crimes? Crimes. There's the graveyard. And the building we're in right now. Spooky. Look, we're being watched. It's my neighborhood. Ah, there's a tiny U in there, I bet. Oh, that's... Sorry, that like made me dizzy. I'm dangerous. <laughs> Good old towny sentry. Towny sentry. The center of our town. Quite. <laughs> oh, I think that's the old food donkey. In the woods, your ghost guy ran into. Yep. He sure gets around for a dead guy. That he does. Oh, cute. A little train. Oh fuck. What the hell? That creepy noise again. In this room. What the fuck are you? Oh. Ah, it's alive. Jeez, that thing's ugly. It was the source of the noise, I guess. Mystery solved. Wait, no. If it was making that noise, then that means someone was in here while we were walking around. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's maybe go. Now we have to find stuff. Oh, stuff? Dude, we're gonna get, like, tasered or something. By a big bulk and a historical society employee. Whatever, I'm blaming you if this goes bad. Fine. Fine. I'm sorry, dude. Me too. I'd never turn you in. Me either. Crimes? Crimes. <laughs> I'd never turn you in. Hey, check it out. A toolbox. Bear guy must have left this for, for the night halfway through fixing him. Hey, some pliers. Oh, cool, cool, cool. I was thinking we'd never find them and just like starving here. There'll be people here in the morning. Alright. Alright, so we got the stuff. Let's get that elevator open and see what's upstairs. I'm gonna guess it's like 12 more elevators. Hiss howl. Yeah, meow bark. What the fuck? Still not over the, the collective old <laughs> what? Oh, the collective hee hee hee, meow meow bark, hiss howl. There's a lot of sounds. It's the sounds that the statue makes, honestly. Okay, still no one around. But while we figured out what was making that weird sound, we did not figure out who made it do that thing. All right, are we ready to go? Yeah, for sure. Maybe it was the janitor doing his normal thing. Gonna get to work. I'm gonna, like, break out of county jail someday. With these skills. Dude, what are you going to jail for? <laughs> Burp. Probably something like this, honestly. <laughs> Breaking and entering. 
Love his little hand wiggle. Ah, uh, dude. You need to hurry. What? Someone's coming. They're in the hallway downstairs. Crap, okay. I'll have it done in... Uh-oh. Oh, God. Uh, dude? The elevator. Shit. Shit. Hurry. There, I got it. Go! Holy shit, are we in the basement? Oh, okay. Oh, hey, that's where that elevator goes? This elevator. Yeah, so... This doesn't make a lot of sense. Maybe, like... This elevator's for loading things into the map room? Like, they use the, the other one to avoid the stairs? But even then... Dude, none of this makes sense. It's like at the Mountains of Madness. <laughs> it's just always changing. It doesn't look like whatever was following us is down here. Whatever or who, not whoever? Whoever. Coming around on this ghost thing. Ghosts don't use elevators. Why, so a ghost can like walk upstairs or something? The elevators are out of the question? So the question I have is, where does that one go? Let's open it. Okay. Crimes? Crimes. Let's do it. Okay, just gotta pick this. In the dark. Gee, sorry. It's cool, I... Oh shit, shit. Gonna keep picking. You see if we can get out through the back. Stuck. We are so screwed. I'm working, I'm working. Lock. Something locked it. Someone. We can go back upstairs? Actually, no, we're just gonna get chased around in a circle. By whatever it is. Whoever it is. Dude. And got it. We don't know where this is gonna go. Got any better ideas? Dude, clearly I don't. <laughs> Blue is here. Oh, you're so sweet. I'm glad you're here. Please feel better. I'm here to give comfort and soft. Though it is a very spooky stream right now. They have an elevator that goes from the basement to the attic. With no stops in between. What the actual crap? Quick, let's find a way out. I found a window. I think there's a fire escape. Window doesn't open though. Oh my god. What is this place? Forbidden Zone. Are they starting like a weird art museum? This is bad art. This is weird. It's art, dude. What the? No, this is familiar. How do I know this? The goat is ripping a hole in the sky. Shit, dude. The elevator. How do I know this painting? Dude, come on! <laughs> he broke the window. The elevator's coming back up! May bailed. Now we get the real spooky. Hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. This is, I'm holding my breath. I don't want to get spooked, but I know it's going to happen. There he is. Oh my god. Oh my god. The he. Greg, where did you go? The steps just ended. You gotta jump. Oof. Ow. Ow. You believe me now? I believe we almost got caught by a security guard or something. No, I'm telling you, I can like feel it. Okay, fine. Ghost, ghost security guard. Sorry about all this. You crashed your bike, you got mauled by an owl, broke through a window, and jumped off a fire escape. Nah, dude, it wasn't nothing. You're a really good friend, Greg. Psh. Crimes, crimes. Whoa. What the fuck? I don't remember this happening. They just fucking tripped out. Oh no, the little ears are down. Ah. Dude, what's wrong? Ugh. Oh. 
Dude, talk to me. Jeez, my head. I need to talk to everyone tonight. Okay, okay. Can you get on the bike? I think so. Okay, grab onto me and I'll take us home quick. What about the ghost? Ain't no ghosts here. Let's go. Wait, oh my god, is this happening? Did we not get to do the Angus one too? Damn it. Oh, I think it is. Damn. I thought we got to do all three. I was told that in the the new version we get to do all three of them. I think it's just Greg and B, I guess. We just did the two. That's lame. I really love Angus's one. Thanks for, like, coming. Again, we live here. Yeah, you're in my living room. I'll accept the thanks. So, like, do you have any idea of what's going on? There's a ghost that's in my head. Like the night after I saw the kidnapping. I think it was a kidnapping. I had this dream I barely remember. Except for this sound. This horrible sound. This feeling. I keep hearing it whenever the ghost gets nearby. It's like someone rips a hole open in my brain. I know you guys don't believe me. It's not that I don't believe that something's happening with you. I just don't know that it's a ghost. Yeah, dude. There are like 50 better explanations for all this. Like what? You have like sudden stress migraines, and you saw something that freaked you out. That makes you stress out. I get migraines. In May, you've gone through a lot of life changes recently. And I don't know, stress does weird things to people. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. I'm going up into the woods. I know this thing is up there. I know what I saw. If you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. You're only gonna hike up past the basketball court? It's late, dude. Why do you all care? You don't believe me anyway. I'll go. Listen, I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. Aw, dude. So let's go find your ghost. I was fixing to say something like that. You said it better. Aw, you guys. It's not even ghost hunting season. Yeah, it's Buck. We're outlaws. Thank you for believing me. Mostly I just don't want you wandering around up there, alone, at night. Close enough. Alright, let's hunt some ghosts. I haven't been on a night hike in a long time. Gotta listen for owls. Why? No reason. Alright. Got work in the morning. Let's go catch us a ghost. So dang, yeah, it's we're coming up right at the end. Damn, I did not expect this. Oh, heck, my email? Fuck, <laughs> it's not gonna be in the tile because it's not art stream. I'll send it around later, but uh... Wow, okay, so we're coming right up on the end now. I thought that we were gonna get to do Angus's story, and I'm really sad that we didn't, because um, I, I spawn all those windmills, and those windmills have like uh, a thing for... Angus's playthrough, but I thought we would see it later, but I guess we're not. But they're just messages from like Boy Scouts and stuff. We'll see it next time I play, but I'm really sad that we don't get to see it. But it's also okay. This is like the last night, I think. I'm really psyched. Saw him. The bad art, no clues, chased by ghost. Greg rules, okay? Damn. That might be it. Alright. Let's go. I'm march to the woods. But no, wait, we didn't get the one scene yet. I don't know, maybe maybe we'll get that still. How have I never been back up here? Fences work? Nah, people up here all the time. I came here when I was like 12. What's up here? Just old junk and trees and animals. What is it, B? Nothing. Nothing? I was praying. Wow. Really? Yeah, let's go. Yawn. What? I think I heard an owl. Oh, hon. Greg got attacked by an owl bee. What? When? We were out breaking into the history place. 
I don't think they attack groups, bug. Well, if I get mauled to death, I warned you. I'll punch any owl that gets near you. Aw, thanks, Cap'n. Bug and Cap'n, they're so cute. They are just baby. Big dangerous Greg, scared of birds. I almost died from that owl. <laughs> Poor Greg. I like that Angus is protect. Angus protect. And also attack. Protective Angus is precious, yes. It's I agree. He is just baby. Wow. Gotta put all this stuff somewhere, I guess. You remember this from when you were 12, Greg? Yeah, I was scared of it. How'd they even get all this stuff back here? Ugh. What's up? Nothing. Just like, all this old, old stuff out here. It's here every night, when you go to sleep. So? It's out here in the dark. So old. So old, so old, so old, so old. Dude, hey May. I'm fine. You should go back. This is stupid. No, it's fine. Ghost hunt, woo, fun. May is struggling. This is important moments. Oh boy. Oh, it's getting dark and red again. I can't do this. Oh no, I can. I can do it. That's so spooky. This is this is a part. Met prepare mentally. What the? Huh? Oh my god! No, no! Ah oh, hell, he's awake already. Anyone got any juice? No, no, guys. Ah oh, hell, guys, guys, wait. Larv, you knew this was gonna happen. You knew it in the moment you screwed this whole thing up. It ain't nothing. It ain't like you weren't on the other side before of this before. It was a mistake. I owned up to it. Or if this is you owning up to it. Aren't I allowed to make one mistake? One mistake? I left a goddamn arm in front of the click clack. Because of you, God knows what's going to happen in this town. What was I supposed to do? It was your screw up. Ugh, the leg's stuck. It wasn't like you couldn't have called any of us. I panicked, okay? I was embarrassed. Sure wish you had called me, Lerv. Think any of us want to do this? Guys, we can figure something out. Nothing to figure out. But, but I got a family. Lerv, don't insult us. You know you don't gotta worry about Jeannie and the girls. They'll be completely taken care of. They'll never want for nothing. He's not gonna budge with that leg sticking straight out. Aw, hell. Dave, Rick, Benny, you guys know me. All right, Dave, you hold him. I'm sorry, Lerv. You know we got no choice. Appreciate if you stopped laying a guilt trip on us. No, 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 no. Hold him still. No! I can't do that scream. It's too much. Big ass uh, scream. Hold still. This will go easier. Another big scream. Huge ah. Uh, all right, he's free. That's not free, Lerv. Lerv, no one can hear you this far out. Just putting yourself to more anguish and ah, oh hell, let's get this over with. She just made this easy, Lerv. God, his bones sticking out. Ah, the hell? Shit. May? May Borowski? Run! Shit. Right, now it's fucking run, run time. They just get to ignore the fucking bumps in the road. But I gotta jump. Fuck. Shit. Oh. They're barely gaining. Oh! Go, go, go! Go, Largo! 
I did it. I jumped over everything, but I got shot anyways. Or at least shot at. Grandma did tell me I was going down these woods. Part 4. The end of everything. If you didn't know, the tagline of this game is, At the end of everything, hold on to anything. Nice. Nice. Yep. I barely remember how to play this. It's like riding a bike. I play this game in my head when I'm falling asleep. Hmm. I go like over the plots of books I've read. Ooh, look at the smarty. I try to remember every place I've ever been. In order. Wow. Pretty cool, actually. Alright, well. Oh shit, we're playing as B now. I always play as Greg in this part for some reason. I guess because I always do the Greg plot lines. So, no word from her parents? Nope. That's bad, right? Yup. Yerp. Thanks, guys. Played this until I broke one of the sticks. That's harsh. I don't screw around. <laughs> That's the spirit. If you talk to him as Greg, he says, uh... You can ask him, like, skate, or, skate to create, or, uh, skate to destroy, and then he just fucking says, I make my own rules. Pretty cool. This game had a great soundtrack. Very high school summer. I listened to, like, half the bands on it. We're gonna see the blank tones in a few days. Or we were. I don't know. I'm so tired. I can, like, curl up on their bed. A whole living area under there. I like that Greg and Angus have a loft, and you got Angus's cool computer. I don't see anyone out there. Just wait, he'll be back. So we still have no idea who this is. A uh, big guy, dirty coat, or several. They could swap out. I can't tell. Getting dark earlier. Oh yeah, if you talk to if you talk to Angus as B uh or if you talk to Angus as Greg, he talks about like, "Hey, are you doing okay? I know you bake to like calm down. Want some brownies? I'm making brownies." And yeah, maybe lasagna. Lasagna. Brownies? I got some mix last week. Why all the food? Need to eat. Everyone needs to eat. Aren't you like scared and worried? Good dinner makes everyone feel better. Someone's got to take care of you. Thanks, Angus. You're extremely good. No more than anyone else. Aw. Greg like acknowledges, like, "Hey, this is. I know this is how you calm down, but are you okay?" And then he explains, "You know, cooking is how I chill out. It's sweet." Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yep. Yes, I'm. Wait, everybody, shut up. What? I heard it too. Seriously, what? There was clunking up the stairs. There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everyone be very quiet. Oh my god. I fear, I fear, I fear. I know it's so freaking scary. Oh, we're getting up. We're okay. A little bit. We're just gonna walk for a bit. May fell in the woods. Coming out past the fence again. Up towards the old food donk. Hey, wait. This is actually different. Why is it not a parking lot? Well, it's kind of a parking lot. Is the food donkey even here? It's like doesn't exist. It's so strange. Oh, and like none of the houses are real here, too. 
This is like the neighborhood, but there's no houses. I've never noticed that, I guess. I thought these were like nondescript areas. Sleeping is for the week. It's good to see you again, Timber. We're getting towards the end of this, though. It's getting really intense. We missed a spooky chase sequence. I had to run away. This is where the house used to be, or is, or was, or will be. I don't know. Very at the mountains of madness. It's very Lovecraftian. Crazy. Oh, oh boy. Oh, sh oh goodness. It's really intense. Oh gosh, what's happening? Yeah. It's intense. And he just fell asleep outside of where her house was or will be. Or wasn't. God is here. In this room. I believe that. Times like this, we can call out and know that our cries are heard. While we're here, maybe someone would like to say something about man? That'd be nice. May is my friend. Please, God, let May be okay. She's really a nice person, even if she doesn't know it. I wrote her a part in a movie I want to make, but I'll kill Witch Cult. I know she'd appreciate that. Who are you again? Lori Myers. Thank you, Lori. Anyone else? May is a good girl. She and I explored the stars, and she loved to hear about them. She, she... I am sorry. It can be difficult. Anyone else? I've always kind of known May as the kid down the street. A little younger than me, but tough. I've been through it in the past couple of years. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce, and... I just think it's not fair. May of all people should have trouble. Where's the god in that? Where's the higher power? This is all a bunch of bullshit. Thank you, Selma. Anyone else? I'll say something. May Borowski's always been a menace. I called the police on her more than once. Hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. That's all I got to say. Uh, okay. Thank you, William. I'll speak up. Go ahead. May was a daughter to all of us on the block. Speak for yourself. Sometimes, folks, is in the wrong place at the wrong time. Hope we find out exactly what happened to her. Oh, we know. Her friends told us. They were out in the woods at night. Down at the end of Center... Cent <laughs> down the end of Center Ave. There was someone out there hunting illegally, and they got shot at. And they fell, and... She must have fallen off a million things a million times. All it takes is landing the wrong way one time, and... Oh, well, hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it. She remembers who done it. I'm sure she... He's here. The man. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. What's happened to this one? Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? Nah, supposed to be fixing a door. In here? Nope. Okay, so... She's gonna be fine. For today, at least ways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor. I love them. The house is gone. May! Oh, thank God. What did you say, May? It's dead. What's dead, honey? May, honey? Everything. Yeah, I wasn't just imagining it. The food donkey and stuff, they were all gone in her memory. Hold on, what's happening? Yeah, it's... It, it's a big deal. I'm so sorry. Basically, we ran away from a cult in the forest. And we got shot at, and we fell in the woods. And now everything's, like, gone. It's insane. It's really crazy. We found a cult killing a member of their own. And that's why the reason they were killing him was because of the arm. The arm at the beginning of the game. They're, they killed one of their own for messing it up. And then they found us creeping on them in the woods. And then they shot at us. And we're, we're barely alive, but it's okay. 
Her. I can't go back inside. Gotta get to Greg's place. I already went the other way one time, I remember, and you can't go down too far. Oh my god. B. Oh my god, May? <laughs> oh, the sad B. Oh, I remember that now. Got flashbacks, yeah. Holy shit, it's May. It's me. Came back to life. I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! <laughs> okay, that, that kind of needs some explanation. I love that Greg does that and just fucking pizza party but there's a quest we can do with Greg where you almost die and Greg says next time you almost die <laughs> we'll throw a pizza party <laughs> and now this is the comeuppance of that <laughs> I almost die I I'm back to life pizza party <laughs> I'm feeling woozy you should lay down you can sleep in our bed I feel weird about that how about the couch do I have to stop playing no the sound is good I love how happy Greg is. Mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she just like wandered out of her house? Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. I sure hope she's alright. Me too. She's a good person. Both of you, shh. No, shh. What? It's less noisy. It's true. May taught him that. So how well do you know this guy? We order pizza, what, twice a week? At least. Front by the highway now, since possibilities closed down. I thought you two were trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyle, B. <laughs> I love that line. Don't police our lifestyle. <laughs> but can they order pizza twice a week? They just really like pizza. It's not healthy to do that. I used to do that too. You got you can't eat that much pizza. You shouldn't do it. Don't stop. Don't eat pizza. Or at least you can have pizza, but like make it like I don't know, like once or twice a month. Unless you're just crazy and you want a lot of pizza. Okay, well, as long as we're sure the delivery guy is safe, I can spot him through this keyhole. If not him, we'll turn off the light, and I guess hide here until we die. All right. Well, as long as there's a plan. Hello? Look who's awake. Oh. It's him. It's the pizza guy. Pizza's here. Yo, pizza too. Oh, sick. So what happened? We called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like in a coma. Did you die? No, I just took a very long nap. Nice. Uh, yeah, nice. Uh, sick. I had this dream. Or like a vision? Or I time traveled. I don't know, I'm like in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. Sorry, Mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. I'll come pick you up. Oh, it's cool. I'm just gonna sleep here. B is there? B is here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have B drive you home. I will. May. I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. Love you, sweetie. That was weird. That was a little janky. You want a brownie? Nah, uh, I can't really eat right now. I'd puke, but there isn't anything in there. So, like, puke my actual guts out. Alright. You need your guts. For the moment, at least. I like how soft Angus is. He is just very sweet and protective.
is Craig. Dude, wild week, huh? You could say that. Can we get out of this? I don't know if we're getting out of this. Well, even if we don't, maybe we're ghosts. We should hang out more. Deal. What even was that game? Werewolf, Shred the Nar 3. I played that at, like, Casey's house, like, years ago. I played it. Yesterday. At home. Cool. Werewolf game. Shred the Nar. 3. Angus is big soft boy. Oh, it's true he is, and I love him. We all appreciate Angus here. They've got Wi-Fi. Nice. It's like a real place. It's like we're a real place. At least within range. I don't even have a phone because of this place. It's the 1800s here. Hey, May? Yeah? I'm really glad you're not dead. Me too. Yeah. 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 Can we all, like, hit the sack? Cool, I'll be right out. It's time for sleep. Hey kids, can we do lights out now? I'm gonna drop over. Yeah, dude. Sounds good. See you all tomorrow. Sure it's safe for you to leave? Safer for me, at least. Nobody's been following me. I wasn't in the woods the other night. Oh, right. I'll keep an eye out. Also, I got mace. You carry mace? Since that dude followed me home that one time. Alright. Hey, May? Yeah, Germ? What's your name short for? Margaret. Take care of yourself, Margaret. You too, Jeremy. They are sleeping together. They are looking respectfully. Werewolf game. We wolf game. Go grr. Yeah. I'm still thinking about two goth. Trans world order. Give him hell. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? No. We weren't talking then, and I thought it'd be weird to bring it up now. And I was playing this video game where you're, like, dating ghosts or something. Okay. I was really into it. I played it, like, 24-7. Till this one afternoon, suddenly, like, something broke. Broke? It was just, like, pixels. The characters on screen. I felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either. I mean, it felt so sad. I think the game is commenting on itself right now. I meant Margaret. <laughs> Margarita. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I'd just lose these real people. And this whole thing we had it was just me alone. And, like that realization dumped out of the screen and into real life. I went outside and the tree out front. I did it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. How was just a thing. A thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. There was some guy walking by. He was just shapes. It's like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried. Because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff. Stuff in the universe. Just dead. Wow, that's... huh. Next day was that softball game. Andy was the pitcher when I was up. And he was just shapes too. Just lines someone wrote. Like nothing in there. I was so scared and angry and just... I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him. Smashing his face in with the bat. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. Oh my god, May. Have you talked to anyone about this? Sure, it happened. They made me go to therapy. Dr. Hank. Oh, God. He's the worst. He made me start a journal. A journal? Yeah, I kind of said it would be helpful to get my thoughts down. Did it help? Kinda? Sorta? Since this whole thing happened, when I'm alone in a new place, 
It's all shapes, like back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while, but I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. There was a statue of the founder or something. Really shitty statue, like all rusty metal. And there was these shapes, and he was pointing down at me. And I was so scared, I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat or I ate entire pizzas all at once. Drowned cough syrup, a downed cough syrup all the time just to keep, no, just to sleep. And finally I got up the courage to leave. And I came home where everything was fine. I knew everyone. It wasn't just dead shapes watching me. Jeez. Something broke in my head, in my life. I don't mean to be like, whatever, but it sounds like you're suffering from some serious stuff. Like, I can help you find some help for it. Dr. Hank already tried. I think Dr. Hank should stick to family medicine and dentistry. And a half a dozen other things he does. Maybe leave the mental health services to someone else. Like, there are such things as depression and anxiety, and like, I don't know, what you're going through, it exists. And I, I thought when I came home, I just I felt so safe here. Everything's made sense for a few days. And all this, and, 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 shh, it's gonna be okay. We'll figure this out. I'm so scared. I know, we're all scared. But we're gonna make it. You should get some sleep. I am. <sighs> but May couldn't sleep. Hi guys. Love you. A hole in the center of everything. This game is hitting me hard. Yeah, it does. It does that. I love Night in the Woods. It's great, but man, it, it hits hard. At the end of everything, hold on to anything. Past the old coal cars don't mean anything anymore that are old and cold. There he is. My god. For once we get to see him in his full... What are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk! Fine, let's do this. Shot. Hell yeah. Greg got him. Boom. Get away from her, you piece of shit. You're outnumbered, asshole. Ah, you shot me. And we can all use both of our arms. I will personally disassemble you. Oh, jeez, B. Ah! Oh. You okay? What are... You're such an idiot. What are you thinking coming out here alone? I had a dream. You were all dead. Out here in the woods. And it was because of me. Oh, you had a dream? Is that how we're making decisions now? After all that's happened, yeah. Hey, kiddo. We're out here, outside your head. Whatever's going on in there, I believe you. But I'm not gonna let you wander off into the woods. To die. Okay. We're all in this now. And even if we aren't, I'd still be out here with you. Me too, obviously. Clearly. Clearly we all would be. Listen, I'm all the family my dad has left. For damn sure I'm not dying out here. And you're... Dad, you're the closest thing I have to a sister. I don't want you to be gone. So you're not dying either. <coughs> that sounds okay. By me. Well, he's wounded. Sounded like he went up to the vine. Yeah, what do we do? Follow him, I guess. You all wait here. I'll go. <laughs> 
Usually it's Greg making the big speech here, but I think that's because I did it the other way around usually. This is cool. B is great. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. He's up in the mine. We might be able to corner him and tie him up? Or something. Can you walk me? I, I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. Alright, let's go do something really stupid. Hell yeah. He's mad. Gate's open. Oh jeez. What? You could like block it shut or something. Aw oh, dang, you're right. No. He, it, whatever. It's in there. I have to go down there. Well then, looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one something. Bang that. I love Greg. <laughs> this game, yeah. Same. At least we got the light of B cigarette. Or her fake. Well, this isn't dangerous or anything. Haha. <laughs> Nothing to be scared of down here. Just a party. <laughs> Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. <laughs> Damn. Dark, but true. Big if true. Oh boy. This part hasn't changed too much, and it's still just as fucking nail biting as the last time I played. There's a big old crank. Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away. You sure we wanna do this? Yeah, May, you sure? I don't know if you understand. <laughs> He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I don't know what's gonna happen down there. Okay then, we'll come out of this together. Oof, Oof that thing looks old. I haven't used this mine in like a lot of years. Generations even. You are old tour guide now? We have Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the shop, and I get bored. This is in the brochure? <laughs> that is a good question. It's crazy. Well, here we are. <coughs> hey, you okay? I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just like, it's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shh. I heard something. Down there. Going to be okay, May? Yeah, I'm alright. You should be quiet. Yeah, I gotta save up for the screaming later. <laughs> I like Bee's joke. That's cute. Even made May have a giggle. Oh boy, I'm going down. I really have to go to the bathroom. I kind of want to stop real quick just to do it. I don't want to ruin the tension. If I if I stop now, it'll ruin the tension. Oh boy. Also, holding it makes me fucking feel the cold more, which is like super accurate to how like this would feel. I think. Door. Door. Tunnel. Whatever. There we go. There it is. The third pentagram. The teens were right. We found the third one. Aw, oh, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something? And like junk. Oh god. Oh god. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh god. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's through here. Oh, I can't open the journal. But that's the third pentagram. We found it. We finally did it. 
he completed the quest. And now we're in a lot of trouble. G Largo, okay, hold on. I'm gonna tab out real quick. And then I'll, I'll be back. Hold on. This is gonna ruin the mood a little bit, but I'll keep it quiet because I just have to go real quick. I don't answer to nature's call. Nature plays by my rules. <laughs> nah, you're right. Gotta be responsible. Okay. Back to the mood, though. Oh, boy. We just got the light of bees cigarette now. Oh, not even that. I know you're in here. Say something. How about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. Yeah, asshole, we're like five times scarier than you. Oh boy. There they are. They're right there. I'm gonna kill them. Eddie. Or Eid? I don't know how to say his name. Eid? I guess Eid. You'll do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me. Then I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot at the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call. I am sorry. Uh, it's okay. It didn't actually hit me, so... Wait, what the... Who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest protect their own and their neighbors but then why are you trying to kill me kill you nobody's gonna kill you all of you are part of this town by family relation or just by being hard workers contributors um okay so we could just leave well he brought you down here for a reason he's not gonna let you leave until he's had his say well he's already got an arrow through the shoulder I don't think he's going to be having much say in whatever. Wait, so you think that I'd... He kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired, constant headaches. He's been following me, following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God. I've seen this. Or I've... I felt it. It's Ed Scudder and Dim Jim Dorney who found this. Twenty years back or so. The West Mine closed out past Brittle. Vest Shoemaker. Last Supervisor. Was out there when the company locked off the entrance. Carved his initials and date into the door. And then you got this mine. The old one. Not even a proper mine. Big hole. Copper. Abandoned. Shoot. Long before any of us were born too close to water and that water was poison the first settlers came out here that old spring used to be right above where we were standing that water dried up 1992 so that's the story of the witch that cursed the water at Harfest let's bring it up again the water was poison because it had all the copper in it so some men from the west mine come back here to try bootlegging practically built a new elevator Got the main tunnel cleared. Never found no coal. Just dug deeper and deeper. Till Ed bust through that wall. 
finds this place. Jim walks right into that hole. Never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer. Someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl. In dreams and in waking times. It's what brought you down here. So what does this have to do with you or me or anyone? You gotta understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone, our kids were leaving. Government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants. Oh, it's creepy. We worked ourselves to death. Oh, here we go. God damn it, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished? Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church. When Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. I think I know. Yeah, he's already in there singing to you, right? Hi. Hi. Ed explained it to a few folks, and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer. Ones he takes a shine to, rubs off on you. He can do things. I never seen it. They said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us into all of this. And after that first time after we picked one out, well, not only was the town holding stable, it was almost like we were getting younger. Money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. Picked. First one was Tom Turner, who believe you me was a bastard. Just pure trash. We got him down here, and in the hole he went. Next week, flowers blooming all over the hills. You throw them in the hole? They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months ago or so, he starts singing, and it's someone's turn to find someone. Is that what you were doing the other night? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number broke the rules had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm gonna be sick. We never pick no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. You've been... Oh god, oh no. Casey? The Hartley kid? All he was gonna contribute to society, except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad, was a rap sheet a mile long. For whatever sad end he'd wind up at. We did him a favor. You killed Casey? Oh my god. You don't use that word. You know, he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. He had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey? You want act like we didn't do him and this whole town a favor? God, Casey's been down here the whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg. He was my friend! Alright, now throw it down or, I'll, or I will shoot. <laughs> what if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bang! Bang! You brought guns down here? Dangerous this far out in the woods at night. Basic safety. I... I... Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg. Dang it. You're monsters. None of this. None of this is happening. We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Awesome Springs survives. Things can get better. These mines are going to be humming again someday. Old mills puffing smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. It used to be you provided for a family, bought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. People dying, houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home become a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster? A job. 
burnt out, become a burnt out brick box or a hole in the ground, we can change that. We can put this place back together. Or I won't be just shapes. I'm gonna die down here. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old. Even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood. Carry this on when we're gone. Really? You're like pitching us on this? Were any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now, financially like? Or is this just some big costume party murder club? Or someone's shitty boss is afraid of dying? That don't matter. <laughs> it does. This is real bad. This is insane. Why should we help you? Because if no one's here to do this. Remember that flood a few years back? Remember that blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Possum Springs bleeds to death. And soon we'll all be dead. This town will just be fields and trees. I've seen it. I know you have. I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So we can leave? No one's gonna stop you. But understand that you don't know who we are out there. But we know who you all are. Ain't fair they get to probably leave. <laughs> Ain't fair they get to leave and I probably got permanent damage. Shut it, Eyed. You don't know a thing about what he wants. What he is. Eyed, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you. Truth is, I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyways. <laughs> I, I can't move you guys. I'll carry you. I have no idea what to even think about any of this. It's just horror. It's not a word you get to use too often. That's all I've got left. Everything else in my head is gone. Let's get out of here fast. I don't know if... Shh. Talk later. Old, old stuff in here. But it's not over yet. I might be one of the guys like Eddie. Or Tom or whoever has some abilities that he gives you. Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. So, Casey... Yeah. I... Yeah. And for what? I think I get it. Wow, really? Too tired to explain it right, but, like, they lost what they thought was gonna happen, which was what had happened a long time ago. Or how they remember, or, like, picture it. And things it gave them. So, Casey and that kid at Harfest and... Sorry, I lost it. That's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yep, sorry. Hey, everybody shut up. What? Shh, I thought I... There he is. Oh fuck. Kick him. Kick, 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 kick the stupid fucking head off. Angus is pulling the thing. Oh! Kick. It's a cat with a chip in the air and hair. And they lost an arm. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, same. Holy shit! Is everyone okay? May, May, are you okay? May, say something! <laughs> May? <laughs> Shh, 
It's okay. It's okay, I've got him. He's gone now. Shit, how are we gonna get out of here? Shh, give her a minute. I feel air coming from somewhere. So, we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well, that's a relief. How do you... I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, Angus. Yeah. I love you. Aww. Welcome back, man. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered. Again. Which is weird. <coughs> it's like the third time in two days. Third time's the charm. <laughs> Greg! It's not helpful. But yeah, poor May. Jesus. Heck. Kick. <laughs> the fuck moment. Guys, the air's coming from back here. Alright, I'm up. Are you sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up. A long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. Let's get out of here. All together. Oh. Everyone grab... Hole. Hell yeah. Yep, that's some fresh air, alright. And water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water? Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river. Where in a mine? Right. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in that in the one foot of water. Right. I feel so much more relieved now, honestly. Something about like overcoming that and oh shit fuck. Tits. We are gonna die in one foot of water. I'm not relieved anymore. Fuck, I forgot about this. I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but, you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, he said I had an anger problem. But that's not true. I was angry because of something else. Something I had lost. Trying so hard since not to be angry. Got me all defenseless. And I lost more and more and more. And that's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college, the bus, I had this dream. Maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree, finally blown off. I'm so scared, all the time. The fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over. It was over long before I got here. So long, hiding. Trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, and I have to let go, this entire town is wiped off the map. I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on. Until I'm thrown off. And then everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt. Because that means it meant something. It means I am something, at least. Ha <laughs> ha. Pretty amazing to be something, at least. You know I can't understand you, right? Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end. But I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're gonna kill me right here, then do it. If not... May! Dude, you okay? Oh. Got all sleepwalky there for a sec. You mean to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I'm just very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh-huh. Hey, there's light over here. Do you smell that? I bet he did. <laughs> he smelled the light.
What's this? It might be a vent or something. To keep the miners from suffocating way back when. It looks old enough, at least. Brochure. Hello? We're down here! Don't ask us why, please! Could get lucky and someone's out there in the woods at night. I can try to make it out. No, I can, like... Okay, yeah, are you up for this? Yeah. I don't know. I'm, like, all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? No, like when your body is almost, uh, like, whoa, oh, I almost died. And you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. Okay, I'm seriously confused. Are you okay, man? Endorphins. Ah, okay. There, thank you, those. Okay, well, I had those dolphins up out of here. That's assuming if I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. Whew. Gotta jump. Gotta get out of here. Finally the music. Coming back. Getting out of this hole. This is very Metroidy. Woo! We're up. Ah! A little hand! Oh! Uh! Oh! Uh! This place. Huh. Hey. Germ? Yeah! What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We're all stuck down there. You, you are at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Can you go get it? <laughs> I love it. Hey, May. Yeah? Is that germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? <laughs> Germ is cute. He is. He is saved. Airhead like me. <sighs> My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I bought some sodas. Oh, I brought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. You need the sugar and caffeine. Oh, uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yup. Germ, can you, like, I don't know, seal up this well? Hmm. I got dynamite. What? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big of an explosion is that? I mean, not small. Okay, that works. Thanks, Germ. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Bye, guys. There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good man. Strikes me that we just murdered all of those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken and we caused a cave-in. That was self-defense. <laughs> self-defense cave-in. I guess, but we did cause the death of at least a dozen guys. No, no, no. They're all still alive down there. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like... It's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like, if we had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. Uh... What? They killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. This is like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Oh, well, I'll explain it if we keep walking. The trolley problem. <laughs> Would you kill one person intentionally or five people unintentionally? 
I love Angus so much. Me too. I love the fucking I would have. He is such a fucking confident bastard when he wants to be, and I love him. I wish we had done his little side story now. I didn't know we had it limited to two. We should have totally just done Greg and Angus's, because V's one is kind of lame in comparison. It's just talking to the teens again. But we did get to hear that cool story about May puking on her boyfriend at prom, which I will never unforget. And I had never heard that before. Angus went feral for a sec. Yeah, he did. <laughs> He's fucking powerful. He wanted to fucking end those dudes. They fucking killed Greg's best friend. Like, a lot of good people. Hey, guys. Uh, are you there? Anyone? I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easier for me to get it all out here. And if I need to talk, and I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. None of us asked for any of this. And it didn't happen to us because we're, like, special. You can work as hard as you want, but the universe is going to keep doing what it does. And I don't think any of us deserved all this. This is all stuff that started long before we were born. It's all like moving so fast, and you're dropped into it. And you're just trying to grab onto something. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed the guy that to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Lol. I don't know if I'm ever going to understand what all just happened. I hope it stopped. I just feel right now like all I want to do is wrap my arms around all of you. Not just because I love you. Keep you all together with me. Wrap up into a ball and no one can hurt us. Sorry, I'm rambling. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use Messenger. Guess I'm just typing to you wherever you're at. You're like the most stuck here of anyone I've met. But you're the least trapped. That's some beautiful shit, dude. V, you're definitely something. I'm so sorry about all you've gone through. I don't even understand all your problems. But if I could, I'd fix them. I'd fix all of them. And I'd buy the tools to do it from your store. Or, like, borrow them at least. A better friend would buy, but I'm what you got. And I'm glad. Yep, there it is. Now I'm just gonna erase all that. Oh shit. Alright, uh, guys, I'm just kidding about all that. I'm really tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, man. Log off. One more morning. Da -da -dum. Fangus. <laughs> Feral Angus. Absolutely. Oh, man. Whoop. A hole at the center of everything. And shapes. Everything's just shapes. Play some bass. You got any new songs? No. Nah, later. Maybe. Let's see the messages. Hey, Mae. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we are doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. Hey, man. Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really. You massive dork, lol. Band practice today. Because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the Snalkin. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. It's good to be alive this morning. That's all. Hell yeah, Angus is raising hell. The last thing we'll ever hear from Casey, I guess. Probably not his last words, but, like, the last thing we know he's up to. Born to lose, country trash cloud, drummer, skate and destroy, skate to create, bound for glory. Rest in peace, Casey. <laughs> Charcoal! What do you have to say? Either service. Snow in the forecast. You ready for what's coming your way? Whoa. That's menacing. Alright. That's enough, computer. I'm not finishing. 
uh, that, uh, oh, epilogue stars. I don't know if I've seen this bit. But I'm not finishing, uh, our, our dungeon game, sorry. The Zeman Tower, I can't do it. I'm not good enough without the c controller. So I'm just gonna not for now. We're just gonna walk around and see who's missing in town. So I can finally talk about my theories. Because uh, we'll note as we go around, unless they changed it in the DLC, but Molly is mysteriously not around. And I always feel like she's their fucking like person on the inside. I forgot to ask about the police, like what's to keep us from just calling the cops? But like, the cops work with them. They are like a big influence on the town, those guys. Hey granddad's clock. Hey granddad. God. It's us. It's just us. Home and us. I don't know what this feeling is, but I'm not gonna cry today. We're gonna eat you for Thanksgiving, bird. <laughs> Hell yeah. I should like reread some of these. I mean, I got time, and the cozy months are coming. Shapes from beyond the veil of space. Okay, uh, let's go with that one. Let's see what the back of the book says. At least in 1937, Shapes Beyond the Veil of Space is a towering achievement. Marks the start of the weird Gothic genre influence on much of the 20th and 21st century horror, science fiction, and pulp literature. Shapes is sure to make you question just how far away the night sky is from you at this moment. Cool. That feels like it's describing a Lovecraft book, and I, I like that. Because Lovecraft's uh, inspired a lot of weird horror. Hey, honey, is that you? Yeah. I'm back in the kitchen. Do you want to talk? I do. I hope it doesn't warp me right to practice, because I want to look around. I think Mr. Penderson is gone, too, which is great. Hey, sweetie. It's not like we got to see him much, though. Molly can go in the hole, throw her in. I think that she's already dead in the fucking holes with them, the other guys. I think she's part of the squad. Unless we see her today in the new DLC stuff, she's gone, in my opinion. And she was in with them. That's my big Molly theory. I also... I think that the cat with the chip in the ear must be related to May somehow. Like, I don't know who Ide is, and they don't really elaborate on it, but, like, it's clear that he has some of the weird powers that the, like, Satan beast can give, the goat that tears the sky or whatever. His powers can, like, be dealt to other people, as it seems. And that person with the, like, minor cap is covering up, like, cat head and hair and ears and with a chip in them. And he loses his arm, and I don't know, it's it's interesting. I, I have, like, personal theories about that shit. Hey, Mom. How are you feeling? First of all, for a while I thought it was Granddad, but now we know for sure Granddad is dead. Because he's, like, actually, like, sits with May in the afterlife, which is pretty cool. Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Sure, Mom. Hi. You're an adult. You can do whatever you want, but you do live here. You are still my baby. Aw, oh, Mom. Let me come up with some ground rules. Just because. Honey, you could have died the other night. And you just left to hang out with your friends? I... I... I'm sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I've had a really tough year, Mom. Honey, you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but... What happened at school, hon? I don't care what it is. Just please, tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. We can talk about it then? Sure. We can make breakfast or dinner like we used to. Dad can flip the pancakes in the air. Haha, <laughs> sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town, close? Yeah, Mom. They're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh, wow. Calling for some snow, too. That went fast. What did? The fall. Always does, hun. Okay. Well, I'm off. I love you, sweetie. I love you, too, Mom. One more thing. 
Are you still reading that same book? Oh no, this is a different one. This one's about people who died in the mines around here. Oh cool! <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting. It's got some old songs. Wanna hear one? Sure. Far from here the oceans roar, far away across the din. I hear the Lord a callin', a call their children, bringin' in, bringin' in. See you walkin' through the barley, we'll find each other friend and kin. Hear the Lord a callin' their children, bring em in, bring em in. Tarry with me for a moment, talk the places we have been, the Lord will call us both to heaven, bring em in, bring em in. That's nice. It is. It is nice. One more. <laughs> She's humming the song. <laughs> Weird that you're reading a song about people perishing in the mines. Bring them in into the hole! No! <laughs> We're only throwing Molly in there. Also, we can finally give Dad the tooth. Hey, Dad. No work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Oh, Dad, why? I've mined, I've made glass, I've done a heap of other stuff. This place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss's supposed to respect you. Worker's supposed to be able to talk. You're supposed to be able to have a life. Worker's supposed to be able to live. Mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you and her your time. I wanted her to have hobbies. Enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance. Hold on to the house. Try to, at least. My friend Germ, his dad works for the Department of Transportation. He talked about you getting a union going at Ham Panther. I fire you just for talking about it. Is that legal? Legal don't always matter. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say it than get it done. Unions are always there in the mines and the factory. At least for a while. But here, I got something for you. I got it out of the basement. How'd you get in the basement? Door in the crawl space. That's spooky. So what I got is a tooth. A what? Do you know what this tooth is? No. Really? You sure? Yeah, Granddad had it from the old days. May, thank you. Wow, looks bright and new. Like they just pulled it out of his skull yesterday. You should show that to your boss and tell him to eat shit. May, sorry. I'll just keep it with me. Sure thing. May, yeah. You come down to the picket with us. <laughs> you come down to the picket with with us if we walk out. I will breathe fire, Dad. Love you, kitten. Be back later, Dad. What are you doing out here, by the way? Get an early start on our longest night lights plan. Gotta dig them out of the closet. See if they even work still. Can I help put them up? We'll see. You're a small fry. Dad. Dum-dee-dum-dum. -dum -dum. <laughs> He's sweet. Just doing his thing. Yeah. So I don't think we see Mr. Penderson. So I have my theories about him too. I think he's probably part of it, but maybe not. Maybe he's just vibing somewhere else. He might be too old for it. Now it is snow. Hell yeah. Don't think we get to see rabies today. Nah. We can just sit here and watch the snow go by for a bit. Yeah. So that's been most of this game. We're gonna be wrapping it up pretty soon. Literally not kidding, I fucking kin this cat family and her hard so- Oh, what? Rabies, they're here! I think I remember this, actually. Yeah. May's dad is like a grumpy version of my dad. Yeah. No, this is a very relatable game. And like the best and worst of ways sometimes. Yeah. No, I, I, I love this game so much. Oh, I'm sad to see it go, but it's just like May says with the shapes and like letting things go. We get these connections because we care about things, but they're not always real. But that's okay, because when things leave your life, it's supposed to hurt, and it's supposed to feel kind of sad. But it doesn't mean you can't still remember it. It doesn't mean you can't let it go. And I can always return to this game when I want, but it's nice to just kind of do it. 
it's kind of comforting to relate to it. I agree. It, it's very comforting. And it, it's scary, but it's also nice. We miss some opportunities, but that's life, right? Sometimes you miss out on stuff, and that's okay, too. I really love this game. Hey, rabies. I bet your life is exciting. Playing with your friends. I mean, you're a champ. You gotta be popular. Eating garbage. And common pests. I feel like... I'm just glad the world includes you, dude. Alright, I got a jet. See you later, rabies. Stay cool, stay alive. <laughs> there they go. Trash King Rabies. My baby. Yeah. This game is really good. I, I love the fucking, like, uh, influence from Lovecraft 2. It's, like, really obvious. It's, like, really horror -y and I love it. Where forever we a bo booming town again? These guys last night were, like, deluded. It would be really nice if there was a god. I might ask. I think they'd have to fight the other gods that bled this place nearly to death. And I'm like, proud of us all. Serving good ass lives in a shitty, stupid, good ass town. Here's to you, Possum Springs. Here's to survival. Hell yeah. Even back in the day when guys drank the copper water and died. People still came out here to try and live. Like, I can relate to those dudes who lost their shit, you know? Like, they lost what made them happy and the jobs they used to work, but they just went about it wrong. They thought the best way to fix things was just become a cult. Find a new god who listens to them, instead of actually finding real solutions for their problems. And trying to, like, make a stronger community, they instead ate it from the inside out, thinking that's how they'd fix things. It's pretty fucked. Cream's got a new dog. Hey, puppers. Oh, she saw me. I can see you from here. I will be watching. So beware. And be a good pup. Me at Reese. Beware. And be a good pup. Yeah. Yeah, we also don't- Oh, wait. Fuck. What fuck the? She's here. We're gonna have to put Molly in the hole. You were right. What the fuck? Laura at me. Ha! <laughs> we said the same thing. Fuck Molly. <laughs> yeah, right? What the fuck? I thought she was gone. She's not in this usually. I think this is DLC. I think they put this in here just to fucking mock me. I think that they knew my theory. Yeah, A cab. Fuck the place. But, um, holy shit. Because, like, I had a theory this whole time that she was part of the cult. But it turns out not. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm working, man. Sure. <sighs> What's wrong? Don't ask. A lot of weird calls this morning. What kind of calls? Question. You haven't seen... Never mind. Go do whatever it is you do. Okay, fine, I will. May. Spit it out already. Be careful. Just be careful. Jeez, until now I never considered that. May. Okay, fine. Thanks, bye. Damn. So, she got all the reports of all the weird missing people. Gonna cut Molly's arm off. Hell yeah. Oh shit! Oh, it's the people that I also thought got caught in the fucking thing. Doesn't really answer the question, Colleen. This very much does answer the question. The amount of rock salt isn't the problem. I have enough damn trucks for this thing. Cars slip sliding up and down the road. It's goddamn hell, Colleen. Tempted just to say close the road when the storm hits. Yeah, good. Let's just give up. I'm not giving up, Colleen. I'm sick of you undermining me. It's a bad idea. That's not undermining. It's undermining. I'm going call you sign on this one. That's just great. That's just peachy, ain't it? Let's close all the roads. Let's close down the whole damn town. Gears are always the most important. The most thought out. What the... Gonna do another water balloon toss? I nearly froze to death last time. <laughs> I still have the sniffles. I liked hitting him. He was the pumpkin. <laughs> I think we can all <laughs> agree that it's too cold for water balloons. Kathleen, too cold for another stupid idea. Go to hell, Colleen. Let's hire some private plows. Wanna go against the DOT union? Go right ahead. 
Got agreements from the county and state. Colleen's right on this one, too. You two agree so much, why don't you just get married already? Ugh. I'd rather die. I'd rather break my own femurs on the cinder block. That's settled. What are you gonna do about the road? Break for food? Great idea. I'm starving. See, we can still make decisions. Haha. <laughs> Move out, troops. I honestly thought these guys were dead, too. They're fucking getting rid of all my head cannons in this DLC that I never played. God damn it. That's okay, though. I'm gonna go back and talk to Selmers. But, like, holy fuck. Okay, that was gonna be part of my thing I was gonna talk about. Colleen! Yeah. No, okay, so I thought that the fucking, like, guys there were part of the cult. And I thought that Molly was part of the cult. And I think that a lot of, like, the shitty people were part of the cult that, like, harass May or, like, talk about, like, how the fucking place needs, like, more jobs and more money and whatever, you know. Classic, like, rude capitalist shit. But no, they're all still alive. Like, what the fuck? Did they just escape from the hole? Or are they fucked? I don't know. They were completely different people fucked? You know, Lurv and, uh, Eid got fucked and all the others in that hole. Like, fuck, I don't know. I just don't understand. I guess we'll maybe we'll learn who's missing, but I was like, I was so psyched to be like, oh, look at how all these people who are missing. Oh, I wonder what happened to them. But no, they're here now. <laughs> I'm kind of amazed. I'm like really happy, but also like confused. I'm, I'm excited because now I'm going to have more headcanon. It really seemed like it. Like it makes sense, right? Like the, exactly. You'd think that the elitist assholes who are like basically a cult in real life and behave like a cult in real life would totally be a cult behind the scenes, but they're just not. They're not a part of it, I guess. It's crazy. Hey, man. Sup, Selmers? You okay? To the whole, like, head injury thing? Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is all. Got some migraine meds if you need it. No, it's not a migraine. And those things make me have to pee. The caffeine. You ever take pills that make you pee? It's the caffeine. I don't know that. Used to work at the pharmacy. Alright. If I ever have a headache, or need to pee. I'll come by. Anytime, neighbor. I want to hear a poem. Okay, I guess no poem. This is the final day we get to talk to Porch Guy. Oh my god, it's so important. Oh, and Mr. Chazikov's up there. That might be new too. Snow coming. Gonna be bad this year. I love you, Porch Guy. Thanks for always being here. And always being angry. He finally, on the last two days did not bring up his porch and his property. He finally likes me, at least a little bit. It's like taming a wild animal. Hey, man. Hey, Mr. Chazikov. Got any more dust stars we can look at? One more. Filter! I remember this time. Oh, it's right here. Or right over here? It's close. Oh, it's right here. This one. Calling it. Yeah! First try. <laughs> Found it. Let us consult the guide. Here we go. Erskine the Firemaker. The Firemaker. Wanderer in the cold and dark. Making a fire and huddling up to it. For light and warmth. Sounds festive. Sounds like survival. Hmm. The star makes me want to cry. Crying on my roof? Do you wish to talk about it? No, it's fine. Is it a happy cry or a sad cry? I don't know. I don't have great words for it. It is okay. Sometimes too many words. Yeah. Thank you for this. Thank you for joining me. Think we have discovered them all? Well, we didn't really discover them, right? I mean, someone else already saw them and named them. Wrote a whole bunch of stuff about them. We just, like, found what they made for us. Is that not a discovery? Not really. Maybe not in the historical sense. We did not create the stars, or name them. But we had these autumn afternoons. Found them together. Isn't that something? Something, something, something. My granddad said something like that once. Something about a story having really happened. Because hearing it happen to you. That is nice. It's not bad. Whoa, zoom out. Check it. Oh my god, they're all so cool. They're beautiful. I love them. Can I come back and look at them any time now? So what now? 
Super moon is coming. What is that? A giant moon! Ooh, that does sound super. You must come meet me when it happens. I'll be late. It will be late at night. There will be others on their roofs. You come. I will make hot chocolate. What a time. It sounds great. I want to see a super moon. Plan on it. See you later, Mr. Chazikov. See you soon, Stargazer. Erskine. Hell yeah. We're filling out a lot of these pages. We're only missing some of the Greg stuff. Oh yeah, and we finally found the final pentagram. Probably should uh, visit church today so we can talk to the weird dudes. Oh, he squished the dude! On I didn't check this page. The dudes are mashed. Poor dudes. I love them. F the cops. Me right now. Me thinking about Molly not dying in a hole. <laughs> F the cops. Are you gonna talk about the laundry? I should start doing my own laundry. Sometime. <laughs> hey. You should. It's good. It's good for you. you. Gotta do laundry. Wait, can we talk to Arnold Stalkerbaum today? Nah. Shame. He's always looking through B's window. Hey B, did you get my text? <sighs> I love fucking the little comic. It's still the best one. Watch the pierogi guy be gone. And I'm sorry, Casey. Feels like you deserve a shrine, not just this old thing. Wish I could make it for you. Rest in peace, Casey. We love you. Tim- oh, oh my god. Reese made Tim be art and stuff. Oh my goodness. This is so sweet. What the heck? What is the heck? Oh, I want to see later. But maybe, I'll, maybe we can put it up during the art stream tomorrow. Gotta go to church first real quick. Oh, look at the longest night star. I missed it, but it's fine. We'll go back and look at it when I come back down. Let's talk to the teens and maybe Pastor K. And I... And we'll remember Bruce. He'll look a lot friendlier when he's covered in snow. Breathe fire, eat people. I'll breathe fire, Dad. Hey, Pastor K. Oh, they took down Bruce's stuff. Hey. Well, hey there, May. What are you doing? Aw, oh, just cleaning up. How did the council vote go? We lost. I lost. It was just me pushing for it, really. We've got all this empty space. Could use it for so many things, but... You tried. All we can do. And God will show up when the time is right. Bruce was my friend. Mine too. Bruce is my friend too. Need some help cleaning this place up? That'd be nice, May. There's a rake back in the shed behind the church. Oh, I can't do it now, but... <laughs> Run along, May. Okay. Yep, here they are. How'd you all know what happened? Hey, it's you guys. Sup? Hi. Hey. You guys still doing that talking in order thing? Nah. Kept messing it up. We're kind of over the whole thing anyways. Oh, really? Yep. Because that pentagram thing was totally a thing. So, like, thanks. Ah, cool. Actually, everything you said was pretty spot on. Probably because we're actually psychic. Probably. Alright, well, I can't tell what level of sarcasm we're working on here. Oh god, I sound like a mom. Maybe no sarcasm. Maybe we're covering our tracks. So our cover isn't blown. Never change, weird teens. Please grow up and become weird adults. Maybe we don't age. Maybe we stay young. Maybe we're forever. 
thank you again. For what? I don't remember doing anything. Who is this lady? Ha! <laughs> nice. They're covering their tracks. The weird teens. Thanks for your help. I'm looking at it too. You can see May looking up at the Possum Springs big water tower. See a Pastor K. I've always wondered what that square is. Do you think it's just a tiny tree stump? I think it's a tiny tree stump. I always wonder what that little tiny square is. Let's go talk to mom. Laura, this game is beautiful. I'm glad you decided to play again. For us. Yeah, it was fun. I really love it. It's my fave. And I'm super glad I get to share it. Oh, yeah, mom's not working today. Can we talk? Can we go, like, stay with grandpa again? Oh my god, can we? Wait, what? Maybe we can. Or maybe May just sits here? Hold on, I kind of want to wait and see, just in case. Oh, little leg kick. I don't think anything's gonna happen, but I want to make sure. It's stupid, but it immediately stuck with me and became important. Aw, it, it is important. I don't know. Like, people complain about pretentious games sometimes, but this game really does stick with you in a really special way. It has, like, a deep meaning, and it also has, like, a really obvious meaning. Like, obviously it's very fuck capitalism, like... We should burn it down and try again and, like, distribute the resources and save people's lives instead of, you know, like, making them go and kill themselves instead of giving them homes. Or starve or just let them hurt. Like, that's a really blatant message, but I like, I like the deeper message of, like, finding meaning. I really, it makes me wish we had done Angus's thing, because he has a really great thing where he talks about how things happen and then people make meaning from it. Like, he believes in a, uh... A god that doesn't care and a world that of people who do care you know and it, it's it's really a good message for this whole game because it's like we care about what happens to us but whatever cosmic force up there definitely doesn't but we make meanings in things that just matter to us and that's even this game we make it meaningful because we love it and that's all that matters when winter come and water freeze, ere the fish can be at ease. A tunnel is not flooded ruin, it's a home, a place for doing. Sure, that works. Please go away. <laughs> Love you, tunnel fish guy. Oh, -na -na -na. Nope, pierogi guy's still living. Not a cult. Rose is not here. I hear you guys playing, though. Hell yeah. Come -na -na. Hey teens. Hey you guys. Yeah? Stay safe, alright? Oh, thanks mom. You are new mom? Apparently. Life, man. It goes. Slowly. Nah, dude. Nah. I wish those two playing the music would shut the F up. Hey! Watch it. <laughs> I like their music. How'd they get the music? Like the, They have a tambourine back there, but neither of them have a tambourine. Oh well, maybe the guy playing... Maybe the guy playing the pierogies back there is swinging his uh, frying pan around. It makes a tambourine sound. I kind of want to just listen to it for a while, honestly. It's giving me... I want to listen to this vibes. Gonna read chat for just a sec. Gonna jump the track from the GF and build a college and get away from everything. Hell yeah. Fuck Cavism, I just wanna live. Same. Sounds like a good name for a song. When we eventually start the band Trans World Order, Give Him Hell. Our first song will be Fuck Capitalism, I Just Wanna Live. 
Yeah. This game just makes things matter a little bit more, and I like that. See a weird pierogi guy. Thanks for all the pretzels for my rats. Haha. <laughs> Got him. Sounds good. Hell yeah. Too goth. Or too goth. But yeah, look at the little longest night star. I'm so proud that it's out here. It's so cool. I'm sad we didn't get to see the result of our windmill work because we didn't get to do Angus's thing. But that's okay too. Maybe another time. We'll work on it. For next time. Let's go see the rats one more time. Also, we gotta see Lori one more time. Because we get to learn the final secret about Lori. I bet you guys forgot, but it's actually a clip on my stream that I know something secret about Lori. And we're gonna go figure that out after we check on the rats one more time. Hey, rats. Oh, hell yeah gonna happen to all this. Guess it's just gonna sit here until someone gets around to throwing it all out. Should like steal the good stuff. See what mom and dad think. I'm sure they'll love it. Redecorate the living room. Hell yeah mallard. Keep living on with your miracle rat babies. My boy mallard will live on forever. Mallard's tomb. They could never hold Mallard. He was a free agent. Oh, fake doors. Real fake doors. Bumbo. Did you ever come back and try? Oh, uh, yeah, I did try the exit door. Still doesn't work. Still just a broken door. That's clearly advertised as something it's not. Dang, I almost made the jump. Hup, 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 hup. Hell yeah. Hey, Lori. Hey. You okay? Hey. Heard you were like in the hospital or something. Haha, <laughs> yeah. What for? Fell into a ravine while running through the woods at night. Why? Uh, chased by a death cult of conservative uncles. Alright, you don't have to tell me. <laughs> Just told the truth. So you're really okay? Yeah, just been a weird few days. Okay, I got worried. Aw, oh, I'm super tough. Nothing's gonna get me anytime soon. Oh good, that's good. I wonder if they'll ever figure out who messed up the dudes. The dudes? The mural, in the tunnel. Oh, I did that. What? Why? I don't know. That's not a reason. Why do you care so much? The dudes! The dudes are sacred! Why? They're like a part of this place. This entire place is royally messed up. And nobody cares. I wanted someone to notice things aren't okay. This town is like a horror movie that never stops. It's not even a good one. Yeah, it might suck. But it's our horror movie. That's kind of cool, right? What kind of movie would you want it to be? I don't know. Romantic comedy. Everyone lives in clean, shiny places there. And they're all pretty. And they kiss. But they're horrible to sit through. You end up hating every person on screen. Yeah. They're always pretty hateable. It's okay to hate them. They're not real people. Yeah, fictional people don't mind. I mean the actors. <laughs> Me too. You know, does your family do stuff for the holidays? My dad's usually away on Thanksgiving. But he's home for longest night. You should come to Thanksgiving at my house. Oh no, 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 no. Come on. We have four chairs and there's only three of us. The other chair usually just has junk on it. No, 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 I can't. Why not? <sighs> it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Hey, hey, okay. We can talk about it later. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> you okay? Can I do anything? No. It's cool. Just need to sit here and be quiet for a while. Okay, I'll leave you alone then. See you tomorrow, probably. May? Yep. Thanks for hanging out with me. No prop, kid. Try not to, like, burn something down in the meantime. Haha. <laughs> See ya.
Lori created the H meme. She's accidentally horny for May. And she created the heh, huff, huff meme. H'ing very hard in the chat. Won't be able to climb this soon. Once it gets icy. Enjoy it while the weather lasts, May. On top of the world. One step forward, two steps back. One step forward, two steps back. Not getting anywhere. Getting nowhere fast. Selmers and Findle. Gortlung. Hell yeah, Gortlung. Nuke Possum Springs. I'm just taking a t some moments to appreciate the good graffiti. It's really cute. Adds a lot of texture to the buildings. Oh, they're still here in front of Telezoth. So I'm going to split. Part time. How do they not have the hours? It's a huge store. How do they not have hours? They got a computer program. It's all hooked up to some kind of mainframe or something. It spits out the optimum schedule for all the employees. Manager can't do much about it. Computer don't play favorites. I guess you can't argue with a computer. Nancy give you hell? Nah, she did laugh though. I laughed too. Are you still going to do that movie? Yeah, let's find a night where we're all off. I'm off Tuesdays. I'm off Sundays. Thursday's my only night off. We can all put in requests. Aw. I guess the new job didn't fix anything, huh? Amazing. Lar... Wait, I see my name. Lar, I swear to God. What the fuck date her? What? No, she's 13. We can't date 13-year-olds. <laughs> no. Dad. I just like to think that she has, like, celebrity, like, crush on May. Oh, whoops. Yeah, no, we're not dating Lori. She's too young. But she is very sweet. And I think that she likes the kind of person May is a lot. That's my thoughts, anyways. The huffing and the angry. Yeah. This is always a sad interaction because, like, we see here, like, I'm leaving this stupid call center and I'm going to Ham Panther, and then it didn't fix anything. It just made everything worse. Sometimes. Oh, I can't go to the old pickaxe. Oh, right, because B said she's not opening it today. Even though it says, yes, we're open. But yeah. Also, it's the janitor. Hey, dude. Hey, it's you. Little Joe. Yep, yep. For now, at least. You know, I, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I clean up, do fix-its. Never needs done. Oh, okay. What's it like being home again? Things like you remember him? Kinda. I don't know. Don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been through something. How did you know? Call it experience. Swear some mornings I feel every bit as old as these trees. You know, something big did happen. I feel like I should have woken up today and, like, have learned something. But I don't know if I learned anything, really. Well, my experience, the big things don't teach you anything. But they make you something. Sometimes you gotta wait a while and see what come of it. Huh. Well, done an honest day's work. Quitting time. Smelter's game tonight. See you around. Not if I see you first, May. Ha. <laughs> how did you know my name? Wait, how do you know my name? You've gone. Mr. Janitor, Lord Janitor, Bob Janitor. Thought I could get a job as a janitor and really enjoy it. I want to see what's on top of the roofs, just in case today. We covered everything at the bottom here. But, I want to make sure there's no one just standing on a roof that I'll miss. Because of some optional thing I'm not, I accidentally skipped. You know, just in case. 
gotta be thorough. It's the last day in Possum Springs for us for now. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah. Boing. Okay, no one's here. Just making sure. Woo! Is the janitor God? I think he's actually supposed to be like Little Joe. You know that statue at the cemetery that you see with a bee? I think that's him. I think that's he's like the ghost. He's like coming back and uh, helping May out in little ways. Well, fall sure is ending. Sure looks that way. It's like a lizard. I've uh, never seen you around before. I spend a lot of time indoors. But it's nice to take a break. And I like the cold. It's brisk today. Brisk. Sometimes I stand in the cold with my arms out. And I let a gust of wind pass over me. It chills me out a bit. Like this? Yeah. Is it working? Yeah. It's c cold. Maybe too cold. Yeah, you don't want to be doing it for too long. Then you can go get a coffee or a hot chocolate or something. Endless cycle of life. It's cozy. Endless cozy cycle of life. Jeez. I hadn't thought about how cold it was getting out here until you mentioned it. It is snowing. I know. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. I'm from Canada. I have to apologize. Now I'm going to put my arms down now. That's probably a good idea. Well, it all ran on, <laughs> out of my arms. Okay. Numb arms. Do we get to see Angus today, or is it... Oh, no one's here. What the fuck? Crazy. I guess it's open, but there's just nobody here. I could totally just take a DVD right now. Or like a old porn video. Flizzwood? Fog human? Oh heck, never mind, it's Lizwood. Is he who? A green thing? Yeah, I don't know. He definitely looks really different, but cool friend. Taco Buck? Holy crap! Uh Ah! A taco place! This is the best thing that's happened in town since They got rid of all the snakes in the diner. The owners were religious, and I called in a preacher from one of the holiness camps up in the hills. And he got in there and yelled at the snakes to leave. The next day after he died, they just set traps. Nobody knows where they came from, why they moved in. But they're long gone now. God, life moves on, huh? Taco book. Oh my god, they deliver. I'm going to eat the shit out of some tacos. Hell yeah. Oh, Taco Buck now hiring. So you're a taco dude now? I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan. But I guess that means holding the sign out in the snow. It's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There's snow in the sky, falling. How are the tacos here? Good. I like tacos. There is not one person on God's earth who does not love tacos. Bad news, my ex hates tacos. Good news, they're now your ex. <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. Taco buck. Dine in, dine out. We deliver. Please tip your delivery persons. Best tacos in all this general region, pretty sure. Been missing the pizza plates? Why not try a pizza taco? Oh, wow, that sounds amazing. Watching your health? Try an all lettuce taco. No, I refuse. Get out of here, kid. I'm working. <laughs> try an all lettuce taco. No, I refuse. May is so sass. Oh, I can't go up to the top ropes today. I guess because... The friends are performing in the in the tunnel today. In fact, let's hear them one more time after the smelters guy. Hey? There we go. Who are you? Haven't you seen me around? Nah. Well, I've noticed you. That's not weird or anything. Bit cold for standing outside, isn't it? Someone's gotta stand here. Hey, you a smelters fan? Yeah. Oh, really? Huh, <laughs> yeah. Go smelters? Go smelters. Go smelters. I just want to make him happy. I'm not really a smelters fan, but I want to make sure that he's happy. He's lost his friend for a while. He's got a friend out and about, and I want to be there for him if I can. It's hard saying goodbye to people that you care about. I wonder if his friend is one of the people trapped in the hole. 
I was wondering if this guy was trapped in the hole, not gonna lie. What's in the news? Gonna be a cold winter. Worst in years. How can they predict that? Eh, future's all guesswork. <laughs> True. Future is all guesswork. It's kind of deep, even if it's just like a little one-off line from him. We'll meet with Greg at the Snalkin once we're ready. But I want to make sure I talk to everybody today. That's where we found that arm. Way back at the start of the game. Twing. Everybody leaves me. No. Are we so dead? Fucking midterm. Oh no, I believe at you. I'm so sorry that midterms are here, but I totally know you can do it. You've studied so hard. You're like the best. Totally believe at you. Whoa, wait, what? <gasps> Yo! We do get to come in here after all. My babies! Little rat babies. Well, not so little anymore. You've made it. You've broken free. It's a miracle. I'm just going to enjoy this moment for a bit. Don't mind me. I think we get to go sit up in the... Yeah. We sit up in the big chamber. Oh, hey, the red key's still here. From when you're supposed to help Greg get the stuff out of the thing. That's great. Oh, my God. That is so precious. Am I allowed to actually stay in here for, like, other reasons? No, I'm not allowed to explore, I guess. I'm just going to sit here and watch the rats for a little bit. The miracle rats are free. Say, hell yeah. I totally believe it, you Riss. Riss. Ruh, riss. You can totally do it. Midterm's gonna be easy. It sucks, but it'll, you can totally get it. You're the bestest. Amazing. I love the rats. The miracle rats live on. They have escaped and broken free. Hey, it doesn't zoom in onto the hill anymore. That's kind of nice. It shows that May has finally moved on. It's no longer something that's stuck in her head. Okay, I'm losing my mind. I'm already low on sanity. Good night, everyone. Okay, good night, Fluffy. Wet ass turkey. What? <laughs> Love you too. No germ today. He's probably at band practice. Alright, let's go talk to Greg. Let's finally wrap this whole thing up. Put a little bow on it. It's time to say goodbye to Possum Springs for a while. Well, uh, look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah. Just seems like... Relevant. Well, look who's alive and well to you too. Yeah. Yeah. You want to get out of here? Do some band practice? Yeah. Nighty night, Fluffy. Have good sleep. You can watch the end of this though real quick. We're almost to the end. So that you can go to bed. I know if you need to. You can always watch this later. God, this door just does not like to open. Best worse in the summer. Oh wow, there's a pentagram sticker on this. Can't read the band name on it. Cop Striller? I guarantee you it's not Cop Striller. It's like a German band with a name in English. Sounds like that. Guten Tag, we are the Cop Striller. Off Widersen. Close enough. Where's Greg? Oh yeah, he had to spring Angus from work. What does that mean? Zero clue. Huh. A little unclear about how they, they both have jobs still. Whoa. Rain did not work. Greg has freed Angus from working today. But wow, okay, I always sit here with Greg and talk, so now it's going to be interesting talking to B for the first time. I just seem to leap up and leave work early a lot. There's a lot about those two I don't understand. 
I think they just plain need each other. Greg more than Angus, I think. I don't think Angus would agree. That's because it wouldn't occur to Angus to think otherwise. Because Angus is an extremely nice person. Do you not think they'll last or something? I mean, they're high school sweethearts. Once they move and change, and meet new people, and become new people, I think Angus is going to find he's got more options. Jeez, you thought this out. Before you came back, they were the only people I hung out with most of the time. I've had a lot of time to study. So, like, how are you? I don't even know. I'm still processing. I'm here, though. Yeah. You? Um, not great. I had a dream that the world was ending. Might be. Do you think we're safe? No idea. Great feeling. Yup. Damn. Damn. I never thought of it like that. Yeah. Oh, I think they're meant to be... I'm a... I thought that too for a while, but like, I don't know. I thought me and my ex were meant to be too. And I thought we were much the same, but it's like, who knows? You know, once you meet new people and you like get out, sometimes... I don't know. Things change. It's okay to change. But I don't know. I do like them together a lot. And I love Greg and Angus. It's like definitely my favorite canon ship. But I don't know. It's okay for them to not be together too. It's so like, I'm a little confused about what even happened last night. Well, it's apparently a death cult of dads. The whole cosmic horror thing. Death cult of dads. Or was. Who knows if that was all of them. I can't believe they even exist, or existed. Probably take them a few days to die. Nope. I don't know. kind of understand them in a weird way. Really? It's like a porch light that's on, and there are all these bugs around it. Then the light goes out, and there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me way back. I was telling you on the couch last night. Holy crap, that was last night. Seems like two lifetimes ago. <laughs> yeah. I can't even wrap my red head around these past two weeks. I think that's pretty understandable, man. The world is extremely messed up, huh? Yes. Yes, it is. A failed state? It's getting pretty close. My granddad, before he died, his last words were, This house is haunted. Gee, that's spooky. Was he in your house? No, he was like looking out the window at the hospital. But I think I get what he meant. This whole place. Today I ran into these three weird teens. Actually, wait, you met them too. At the graveyard. Yeah, the ones that tortured you. Yeah, them. Told me I'd see a bunch of pentagrams, and that it'd like aid me. I think they're witches. And then it actually happened? How so? I don't know, I saw the last of them in the tunnel last night. Made from, like, some support beams. When I saw it, it reminded me of something. Didn't really register until this morning. Remember Adina and the Frozen Lake? Folktale? I think it's called Adina and the Forest God. I remember how there was, like, a dead astronomer who was, like, a reflection in the ice? Looking for a star you could only see when you're dead. The ghost star. Mom had a ghost star tattoo. If you're looking at a reflection from a star from below gonna look like a pentagram. That's true. This morning I was like, oh wow, I feel like I found my ghost star, and then lived. This is because of the teen witches? Okay, I see, I thought that was dumb, but I met Germ's grandma. What? Yeah, I went to his house. What's it like? Um, it's nice. Double wide with a finished basement. Got a trampoline. Oh, bouncing on those things make me sick. Anyway, Grandma told my fortune, sorta. Holy shit. What was your fortune? Well, she said some pretty shitty things about my whole, you know, head thing. Ah. But otherwise, it was kind of vaguely like what happened last night. Wow. Yeah, see? So I'm thinking maybe she's a witch, too. Not like an actual witch. The teens aren't real witches, either. So, it's like this other kid, Lori M. We've been hanging out. Ah, this is a lot more stuff than you usually get with Greg. This is actually incredible. She's been hanging with teens all over the place these days. Hush, I'm like a role model. Oh, well then. Lori does this thing where she puts little metal dudes on the train tracks. Oh, and the train squishes them? That's so cool. Yeah, she's great. I don't know, maybe this is just me not being a kid anymore. Watching her do that 
open our little bag, pull out these things, and then like using actual trains, making little monsters, came to the only logical conclusion. Witch. Gee, man, you seem to just be swimming in witches. Hey, listen, you could be one too. Oh god, I wish. I have some hexes to hand out. I mean, obviously I count as a witch. I'm like spooky magic all the way. Of course. I don't know. Last night, today, everything is extremely bad here right now. Everything is bad in the world. Guys last night, they're like ghosts in the old mansion. Don't know that they're dead. Just stalking around, killing whoever moves in. Like Granddad said, it's haunted. There's also a lot of witches in it. And that makes me feel a tiny bit better. The entire Rust Belt is just lousy with ghosts and witches? Yeah, but not all ghosts are bad. Like, I mean, ugh. I don't really know where I'm going with this. It's been a long week. It's a good metaphor, though. It's fine. It's just ghosts and witches. So, have you had any new rat problems at the shop? Yeah, how'd you know? Heard there were some rats around town. Makes me happy for some reason. Oh, well, there's no such thing as a small rat problem. There's just gonna be more of them. Hope springs, rats multiply. Cute. We literally sell rat poison. They're gonna da they're going down. We'll see. Hey, speaking of nothing, how good is your car? Good half. Like, can it drive real far? May do you anything? Do you know anything about what? We should do like a road trip. To where? Out west. It gets all flat. That it does. We can go where it's really flat. And they sell barbecue. And you could see like the world's largest pierogi. Or a museum of toy rocket ships. Or a factory where they make pretzels. Or a house that looks like a big chicken. I could... Okay, let's talk about it next year. I'll start planning it now. Thought you couldn't leave home because of your issue. Eh, you're home enough. I mean, if we're trapped here together... We might as well make it, we might as well be trapped out there together. I mean, if we're not dead by then, well. You have a way of making Doom sound like a lot of fun, Mayday. It's actually kind of a gift. Hell yeah, the boys are here. God damn this door. I think God already has. <laughs> there they are. Hey guys. Sup nerds? Shh, it's you who are the nerds. How'd you get Angus out of work? I'm more interested in this. I made up a family emergency. My uncle got run over by a tractor. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, he did in real life too, but that was years ago. Hey, Greg. So, I didn't really know Casey. Yeah. I just wanted to say I'm really sorry. Yeah. Thanks. Casey was a good one. Casey was good. Should we, like, tell his parents? Probably. What do we tell them? I don't know. Can we, like, make up something that sounds real? Or what, the truth isn't real enough? No, you're right, the truth is insane. <laughs> I love that. No, you're right, the truth is insane. So, like, what do we do? About Casey? No, like, in, in general. Is there anything about this tomorrow? Can we just play a song and get pizza? I don't think a song and pizza is an answer, really. Can we just be normal for, like, one day? I don't know how today can possibly feel normal. Oh, we got more things. When I was in that coma or whatever, I saw the future. Maybe it's now the future? Or was the future? Like flying cars and shit? Actually, those would be a disaster. Haha, <laughs> you finally admit it. You owe me five bucks. That's a bet. No, it was like the town was abandoned. Like being eaten and reclaimed by nature or some shit. I went to where my house used to be. When I was there, I felt completely hopeless. Now I think I could just build another house. Or I could just move on. Knowing when to hold on, and when to let go. Okay, I lost my entire train of thought. I had it for a second, and then it was gone. Song and pizza sounds good, May. Song and pizza. Yeah. Good enough. Hell yeah. The three boys. 
Alakaloka, Bethany, and Scott. Bethany Hockenbury, co-writer and research. Scott Benson, co-writing art and animation. Scott Benson is a great artist. He does all this shit, and he's really badass. He makes some great uh, artwork outside of this game as well. Alakaloka, rest in peace. He did the fucking soundtrack and the coding for this game. But yeah, no. They, basically three people made this whole game. A writer, an artist, and a music and a musician walk into a bar. What happened? The end! Yes, it is. This game. Fucking kiss her, kiss the girl, be gay, kiss, kiss, this game. Thank you, Lar. What happened? The end. That's right. Pizza and good, sounds good. Oh look, Sven Ruth Rutner was the guy who did the Demon Tower stuff. Quality assurance. But yep, nope, that's the whole game. Right there. Abruptly cuts to the whole credits. And now we just get to enjoy the credits. The Yarn Spinner Dialogue System by Secret Lab. Oh, and that's the pixel artist who made the stuff in Demon Tower and whatnot. Come on, I don't know Special thanks. No. Our patient, supportive Kickstarter backers. Hell yeah. Greg, Deb, Ian, Eileen, Mary Holoka, Bob Fenton. Rest in peace, Alec. He wasn't always the best person, but he coded this whole game, and I'm proud of him. Reese and Laura look at me as I will look at my email. Stinky blue. But we're just gonna enjoy the credits for a hot sec. <laughs> Little flaming May. We didn't see everything, but what we did see was really good. And our enjoyment of it gives it meaning. Eco the cat. Or Ico. Oof, pardon me. Hell yeah. That was it. Sharkle. <laughs> Lethal Sharkle. Alright. Oh! Hey! I don't remember that. That's sick. A little road trip. Rest in peace, Casey. We can look at the whole rest of the, the journal we've made. It's a unique one to this playthrough. We shot the forest god. Greg happy and Greg sad. Bandit Queens of the Sport, Sport Lucene Mall. Mallard Forever. Miracle Rats. Honey, I'm Horm. Nuke Possum Springs. Smash. Greg Rules. Okay. Bruce. Pastor K. Rubello. Serious Tooth. Selmers. Good poet. If I die, Selmers should write a poem about it. Never drink or go in public again. Everything feels bad. F the cops. Come back to life, Granddad. How the hell do you draw a space dragon? Angus and germ? The arm, but the tattoo. The pizza scale, very important. There's too fancy, good as hell, normal delivery, fancy, frozen, cheap, and then bad, and then avoid. Uneatable. Square pizza. Greg rules, okay? Beatrice Santello. Maybe. Hello, B. Did you get my text? My favorite. It's the best one. A cab. Malkoff's trying to kill me. Jenny's field. The murder mystery guy. Parents forgot you. Let's go all the way to the end again. Lorian. Greg's happy. Greg's sad. Ah, the June bug. Cycles. We did a little cycle. Thought I could get a job as a janitor and really enjoy it. The three teens. Halloween and Harfest. Him and the void, the hole in the center of everything. Pumpkinhead guy. Grave guy. Career idea. Grave digger. Jen. Greg's cousin. Hella birds. Hell yeah. I love hella birds. What a good page. Actually one of the best pages. Should we end it on Hella Birds, Hey B, or A Cab? Hell yeah, A Cab. Um, <laughs> uh, it's really pretty. I am gonna love it.
I don't even know what it looks like yet, but I'm super excited. Bad art, no clues, chased by ghosts. It's the goat ripping the hole in the sky and escaping through it. Is this why his spirit wanders? Must he be avenged? I still don't know if that's little Joe. Maybe it is. Dina, Erskine, Bombshell, Mayday and BB, Trash King Rabies, Germ Spooky Grandma, Shapes, Rest in Peace Casey. Hell yeah. Put it away. Hell yeah. Weird Autumn Edition. Now we're back to it the start. We did it. I don't know if there's a continue button, so if it would just be new game. We're gonna see. Yep, start new game. Extra. Let's go and see the concept art. Have we unlocked it all now? Do I have to do more shit to unlock it with like Greg's playthrough? Cause I've played about yeah, wow. Oh, the historical society interior layout. That's cool. Oh my goodness, the two weird as fuck elevators at the bottom. Then we got the three elevators over on the side. One to two, three to four and five, and then two to six. Wow, the building is like constantly changing. Six, seven, and then eight and nine. What the fuck? That is crazy. I love that though. That feels like like intentionally very horrific. Like it's a spooky building that just has, is constantly like changing and is in flux. It's so fucked, I love it. Mallard's tomb, the labor statues. We looked at these guys. Oh, sketches for the dance sequence. Yeah, we looked at that. Lori, Harfest, Krusty's. Oh yeah, these guys. Cute, I like them. Krusty sketches. Play more of the game. Original art direction for Night in the Woods. Stay. Yeah. It's great, I love it. And then of course original art direction for Pick a Night in the Woods Nighttime. That's so sick, I love it. Cool little like proof of concept with these. So pretty, I love it. I love how the stuff like glows at night. It always has like a glowy effect. I love that. Original sketch for those guys. You know, those guys. Yeah, holy fuck. All the dudes. The evil dudes. Early sketches. Someone laid a piece of pizza on it at one point. They had a hot dog shirt too. It was wild. <laughs> Someone put a piece of pizza on this sketch. Little drawings of May and B. And even maybe Greg or Angus? Was Angus originally a fox? He's wearing like glasses and the shirt and stuff. It's weird. I like it though. May had a hot dog shirt. It's great. Demon Tower. Nope, wow, we still haven't unlocked all of it. Crazy. Guess I gotta play it again at some point. Oh, I know, it's 3 for me. 2 a.m. I know, everyone's tired. But, do we still. I, I'm thinking I kinda wanna. Like, I'm full of just, like, pa powerful energy. We could play Lost Constellation. Should we play Lost Constellation just to wrap it up? Because I could just not be done yet. We could do. One more thing, we could play Lost Constellation. But is everyone too tired? Should we all go to bed? Is it bedtime? Save it. Uh, Blue is like, sure, if you want to. And Reese is like, save it. Okay. We'll do it tomorrow, maybe. Uh, before the art stream. Because it's kind of short, but it's long enough to be substantial. Another stream, yeah. We'll do it over like an art stream beforehand or afterwards and then I'm gonna play uh, either Sonic 2 or Celeste next it's gonna be great yeah give us something to look forward to you know yeah we should let the ending of Night in the Woods sit in our minds before we immediately like flush it out with new content I agree okay I'm actually just gonna exit out stream might go blank for a sec but that's okay just gonna exit right on out That is a great game. Moving on to chatting real quick. Tonight was intense. Yes. Very deep, very owie. 
yeah, I'm sad that we didn't get to do Angus's part. I was really looking forward to that, but otherwise, very good night. I love this game so much. It's so intense, but it's so good. The hell yeah. That was really badass. Okay, I'm going to go look at my email so I can, like, respond to shit. Maybe I'll pop it up on stream real quick before I go to bed. So here we got arted. We got art attacked. Relaxed lar drawing. OMG, wait. Oh, it's so cute. Little Jolteon and Pokeball. And little Bubble Tea. That's so precious. I love it. Oh my god. That's incredible. Totally gonna put that on stream. Hold on. And then Reese hit me with some. What the fuck? Holy shit. Straight up. That... Oh, it, it is by you. But it's for timber. I see. I was like, what the fuck? That looks like you drew it. But it is. It's because you did draw it. I'm so silly. Oh, nighty night. Gotta go with timber. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put your art up on the cute art channel. Just in, anyways, just before I go, just to show off the cool stuff I got tonight, because it's really lovely. I'm going to add two image layers real quick, and on each of them we will add a new image. Browse from downloads. Uh, oh, downloads. Hell yeah. Oh, did I not download the other one? I should, uh, oh well. For now, I'm just going to put up Blue Star's thing. But tomorrow, I will put up the Reese one when I remember to download it. Because Reese did an amazing job, and it's really beautiful. So hold on. I'm resizing it really sleepily. And we got to turn that off. So, whoops. That layer is going to go away for today. Hell yeah. Here we go. We got a very cute lar art. Ha! Lemon, yes. The boba tea is lemon flavor. Good. It's very pretty. I like it a lot. Did such an amazing job. I really appreciate it. It's very super, super kind. I love it. But I think it is time for sleep. We're all very up late. Let's just like think about the game in our minds as we head to bed. Thing you love and it relaxes you. Yeah, it does. I like boba, I like Pokemon, I like art, and it's the sunset, it's a beach, it's really nice. Yes, I'll call you Reese, it's all good. But yeah, it's sleepy time. This has been Gregory Lee with Angus Delaney in the chat. <laughs> Not really, but been having some good Lar in the Woods playthrough. That was it. Maybe we'll do a Lar in the Woods 2, or we only do Greg, and then we mix in like the 1B quest that we missed. We could do like reverse Lar in the Woods, Dev in the Woods. Maybe I'll have Reese play it and we'll do that version of it. But yes, I'm so glad I got to show it to you. Thank you all for watching. I know there's only two people left, but we had like seven people at one point. doesn't matter. Thank you so much, and I'll see you all around. Have a good night.